Now, now, now. This starting soon screen may feel a little familiar, but this time I zoomed it out to show you all the true canon wife of Dragon Quest V. That's right. Even though this artwork is from the 90s, Akira Toriyama predicted it so long ago. I'm sorry, everybody, but the truth is, Deborah is the canon wife in Dragon Quest V. I don't make the rules. I just follow the rules I already made. And of course, Preston is our little dragon buddy on our, on our shoulder. <laughs> He's part of the family photo because he is family. Yeah, welcome back, Dragon Quest V. Uh, last time on stream, we received some exciting, exciting news. Exciting in more ways than one. Finding out that our wife is pregnant. Oh my gosh, how scandalous. How did that happen? Oh, well, you know, kids, I'll tell you when you're older. I'll tell you kids when you're born. But for now, for now, I gotta do some errands. Little Manox got to go through the Rite of Passage passage. And also take care of a little bit of side stuff I happen to know is available. So let's actually get into the game and make it happen, y'all. Yeah! Sorry, I had to make sure that finished. So you may notice that my controller isn't plugged in. Oh! Oh! You may notice... What the heck? You may notice that my controller keeps disconnecting at the beginning of stream because I take so dang long to start that it disconnects. Don't worry about it. You may notice I had two save files there. Uh, I took the liberty off stream to... Just, just to... Just to do a little bit of grinding. A little bit of side stuff that wasn't story related. And I'll show you... I'll show you... I'll show you just exactly what we got going. So about two, two hours and 45 minutes. Got me this. Check it out. I recruited some more monsters. I was actually grinding a little bit because I felt like my party was a little underleveled, especially without Deborah, who was actually a pretty good damage dealer at the time. Um. Actually, let me get out of here first so that you can see exactly who I got. But already in my party, you can see behind Preston there is a Cure Slime. Actually, pretty low chance of getting a Cure Slime. I looked it up. It's only one out of 64. Especially because I'd only fought a handful of them so far. Check it out. Check it out. Drew, we uploaded this no emotion emote. I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna add it to my channel, Drew. Just you wait. Making babies has something to do with slime. Why, you know? I'm not a qualified, uh, reproductive education teacher. All I know is sometimes an eggs, sometimes eggs get laid. And sometimes d uh, other things get laid. I got a cure slime named Curtis. I got a king slime named Blubba. And I got a man of war named Megusa. This one was kind of by accident. I didn't, I literally did not have this before today. But I, uh, I was doing a little, uh, other grinding in the game. And on the way, I was traveling by boat and a little man of war wanted to join me. I'm probably not going to use them, but I like the name. What's important is that Blubba has a certain spell that I've been waiting to use this whole time, wanting to have this whole time, would have been very helpful in the Mimic Cave, has Zing, which is the rejuvenation revival spell. But also, I grind grinded enough that I just learned Zing. But it's good to have him in the pocket. Also, look at his stats. He's only level four, but he already has more defense than any, almost anyone else in the party. Yeah, Blob is gonna take his places. Back from death, really. That's the only reason for any, for his existence. Right now, the party is just going to be me, attacker Mohi Cat, Mage Preston, and Healer Curtis. I didn't expect it to be this way, but it happened. Yeah, let's actually go back into the castle because I want. I, I haven't had the chance to actually explore it yet. Yeah, I was talking to Drew earlier. He said he was actually interested in playing some Dragon Quest V once, uh, 
May once maybe he plans to play another RPG. You know what that means? It worked. <laughs> it worked. The subliminal messaging. <laughs> I mean, what? I totally haven't been raiding Drew every time I played Dragon Quest V just to plant the idea in his head. <laughs> no, dude, play when you play it when you want. Dragon Quest V so far has been a absolute fantastic game to really introduce you to what Dragon Quest is all about. It may be a maybe like your standard RPG fair, but it's it's special in a different way. It's special because it's a story that really speaks to you as a player, but also just as a fantasy enthusiast. You know? This hero is the one you use in Smash. Oh, really? The one with the, the alternate color palette. I do like his color palette. The one with the white robe and the... Was it blue or is it purple? <laughs> it's one of my favorites, for sure. I think it's a skin over Erdrick. But uh, that's that's another hero entirely, too. <laughs> Oh, is that a Willbrook blue stone you got? My dad would have been really excited to see that. What a pity he's not around anymore. My father was a craftsman, you see, a jeweler. He used to work here in the castle. And one day he just left without telling anyone where he was going and no one's seen him since. Yo. So, so far, I have some items in, the, in my bag that have been around since I was a child in the game. So you know, you know they're Chekhov's guns that are going to show up. You know they're Chekhov's guns that are going to become super important later. Lanipater! Thank you for the raid! How's it going? Welcome on in. Hope you're well. Thank you, thank you. Jackpot. Jackpot? We doing some casino grinding? Yeah, welcome. Thanks for the raid, everybody. We're playing some Dragon Quest V. My name is Chris. I'm a chicken. I've got my little slime controller and slime drink, and we're ready for a little bit of, ready for a little bit of, for a little bit of RPG action. Now, twink. Wait. Wait. Lanipater from Team Four Star? No. No. Nintendo Ryu, welcome on in. Rustable Cup, hello. Aztec Soul, welcome on in, everybody. Devil May Cry? Yeah, we're playing some Devil May Cry, absolutely. Dragon Quest Devil May Cry. Can we get a shout out for Lanipater? Never mind, I'll just do it. Yeah, well, come on in, everybody. You're playing some Dragon Quest? Uh, Devil May Cry 4? Oh, okay. That's the one with uh, Johnny Young Bosch, right? Playing Nero. I love that one, mostly because of Johnny Young Bosch. <laughs> Welcome! If you know Dragon Quest V, we're in a little bit of a uh, part of the game where our, our wife is pregnant. We gotta go down to the grocery store, get her uh, some cucumbers, peanut butter, soy sauce? Look, I'm just saying what she wanted. You know how cravings are. Yeah, well, come on in, everybody. Hope you're well. And uh, if you know anything about... Uh, if you know anything about Team Four Star, if you know anything about... I don't know, I don't know, abridged series then you may be a fan of voice acting. And that's what I try to do here whenever I play RPGs. It's a thing I do, I usually play RPGs, Nintendo games that don't have voices, uh, visual novels sometimes. We just finished Great Ace Attorney 2 uh, the other month. That was a fun time. I got to be Herlock Soames, <laughs> elementary, my dear. Come on, Thrubbins. It must be here or some here somewhere. I just counted them and all the pieces were here, but there's one missing now. Uh-oh. Is the bar having some money troubles? What am I going to do? You can't play monster chess with all without all the pieces. Sounds fun though. Can I can I find some for you, sir? Aztec Soul, thanks for the follow. This is the barracks bar. It's for the soldiers, see? But you don't look like one of them. I'm a bit worried about them, actually. They've all gone mad about this new monster chess craze. Sounds like... Sounds like dual monsters. We just having a Yu-Gi-Oh subplot? It's all they think about now. I hope they're paying enough attention to their work. Prince Albert is a great man. A truly kind-hearted soul. Of course, I do worry sometimes that he's a bit too kind-hearted. He could be a bit of a soft touch. So Albert, is, he's Prince Albert, but he's currently the acting king. He's actually our uncle, brother of the former king who, tragic story, a little bit of a spoiler for Dragon Quest V, but to get you up to speed, 
He died protecting us when we were but a little child, making sure we could live to adulthood to continue his quest. And here we are continuing it. We are a prince. We're trying to find our mother, the queen, because she's out there somewhere. His Majesty, the great Prince Albert, just does whatever the <laughs> Chancellor tells him. It's hard to tell which one. <laughs> yeah, he's running the plate sometimes. <laughs> Uh, let's just hope this isn't a Chrono Trigger situation. The freaking Chancellor being secretly a giant transforming beast that has taken over the kingdom. This is the Chancellor's chamber. I'm under strict orders not to let anyone inside. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm the prince of this land. Let me inside. There might be some hidden treasures in there. Or a secret passage revealing, you know, dark, dirty secrets. Queen Mata isn't dead, that's what I believe anyway. So if you have played Chrono Trigger before, one, you may notice the art style, because they're both by Dragon Ball artist Akira Toriyama. You might also notice, you might also notice a little something something about the writer, the main writer of Dragon Quest, Yuji Hori, same writer for Chrono Trigger, been writing all the Dragon Quest games since the 80s. No, no, no. Dragon Quest is a classic series, and I'm glad it's getting a little more recognition over here in the United States. Do a let's play of it. Nice. Yeah, well, also, if you know anything about this game, there's a little bit about of a, a choice of waifu that may or may not be important. I'm slowly making my way back. I'm exploring the castle, because last time I streamed this, we just got here. <laughs> exploring the castle... Making my way back to my wife, who is currently with child, and hopefully getting her rest. Hopefully not trying to sneak out. You know, she's a little hot-headed. She's, she's, she'd be one to try to sneak out in the middle of the night and join me. Miss Gertrude doesn't listen to a word I say. Is this my aunt? I never asked to be a princess. It's only because my father's become king of Gotha. It doesn't matter what I think. I don't have any say in it. Wow, she's my cousin. It's not fair. I just want to play. I didn't realize you were a friend of Sancho's. A little more of a friend than you think. This is my uncle, the current king. This is the chancellor. I don't trust him one bit. Look at that furrowed brow. Chancellor Jeeves. I think it would be prudent if we remained discreet about your relation to King Pangras, uh... Your excursion to a rite of passage could be rather dangerous. One never knows what might happen. It would be most unfortunate were the people of Gotha to celebrate prematurely. So our quest last time was to enter the rite of passage and encounter a rite of passage. Wow, such such good names in this game. Um, but I'm a little I'm on a little bit of a side quest uh, binge right about now. Since up until now, I've kind of been beelining it to the next story event. If it was up to me, I'd just say, listen up, chaps. This is the new king of Gotha. But I'm afraid you're going to have to go to the cave known as Rite of Passage and get the royal insignia. It's tradition, you see, to prove you're up to the job or some such rot. Anyway, do that, and I can give you the throne. You'll find Rite of Passage in the forest to the east of the castle. That is something about Dragon Quest that I love, that it pays off to talk to people. You get little hints of where to go and whatnot, but isn't she pretty? I know it's hard to tell from a 32 pixel tall sprite, but this is our wife, Deborah. Wow, I sure know how to pick him. You've got time to kill, have you? I don't think so. Or are you tired? I suppose a little thing like you gets tired easily. Well, I have been running around grinding and cheating in the casino. I mean, uh, making sure your father's casino is working up to par standards. Fine, rest then, if you need to. Oh, with you? Oh my, there might be children watching. Ooh. Ooh Morning, Lazy. You're gonna have to start getting up earlier, you know. And another thing, you're a really noisy sleeper. You woke me up goddess knows how many times last night. I'm completely exhausted, thanks to you. You're welcome. 
you know, she can get a little emotional sometimes. Because of the pregnancy? No, she's just like that. <laughs> oh, right. If you've been following my uh, party so far, actually... Uh, I also did grind up some money and equip my party with some good stuff. You can have a look-see, which actually reminds me I need to move some items around. I upgraded Preston's weaponry, Morning Star, defensive item equipped with a Laguna mantle. That's right, I bought something exclusive to him because he doesn't want to be able to wear anybody else's clothes, apparently. Oh, Preston, always the spoiled little brat he is. Kind of funny, uh, if you notice on Mohicat, currently wearing a flowing dress. He's, he's currently wearing, he's wearing the dress that Deborah had on her before. I just happened to notice that he could equip it. It's a good equip, it's, 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 it's a good armor, actually. Just, uh, just make sure to wash it before Deborah gets back to the party. I hope, I hope, I hope. She won't notice it smells like cat. Just, Mohi Cat, please, please. It's a good thing you're potty trained. You are potty trained, right? Oh. Our Cure Slime is equipped with a tortoiseshell and edged boomerang, although for a second he was equipped with the boxer shorts. And what I need to do is take this Dream Blade off a of Slime Mule and give it to myself. I've been loving using my dad's sword up until now, but... At this moment, the Dream Blade is a little more useful. It has a chance of putting the enemy to sleep. Just like my streams put people to sleep. Ha <laughs> ha! In that way, it's perfect for me. Alright. So that's on the upstairs. Let's go explore the downstairs of this castle. At lightning speed! So what was the most actually exciting thing to me when I first got here was I checked the basement of the castle and it was actually like an entire town down there. I thought Gotha would have been just this little no-name castle town in the middle of nowhere. Nothing much to do about nothing. But here we are. We got angels living here. Don't know what her story is, but maybe she, she becomes a more important character later on. This is the castle town of Gotha. Her old king, King Pancras, was a very sharp ruler, you see. That's why he decided that all Gothans should live within the castle walls to protect us from our enemies. It actually worked, though. Only once Pancras ventured out was even danger. The bullet ticket. Let me just steal from this old man real quick. King Pancras dead? I don't believe a word of it. Every time I shut my eyes, I see his valiant figure standing proud and tall. So how can he possibly be gone, huh? More likely than you think. Don't worry, I'll walk in his footsteps. We had a long spell here without a king at all. He was away traveling, you see. We were all waiting for him to return, but well, he never did in the end. Now his brother, Prince Albert, is a new king. He took the throne quite a few years ago now. I was more of a fan of King Pancras than his brother Albert, to be honest. King Pancras had vision, he had dreams. Sadly, now we'll never know what those dreams were. But he had them, and that's what counts. Listen, little bard. Listen here. You just didn't know him well enough. I'm carrying out his mission. I gotta find Mama. Mama! When I grow up, I'm gonna be a soldier, and I'm gonna guard Gotha till the end. My dad's a soldier. Soldiers are cool. All right there, Matt Smith. What next? You gonna wear a fez? I hope the world's a more peaceful place by the time my little boy grows up. Oh boy, just you wait. What if there's another time skip and then all of a sudden all these little kids become adults? Haha, -ha. what if? Oh, I can buy a tortoise shell here. 
Well, that's fine. So what I wanted to do, actually, is... While uh, the wifey is away... Just do a little bit of adventuring. Maybe visiting old towns and seeing what they're up to. Why is this room so suspicious? One of these is going to be a mimic, isn't it? Ha! TNT ticket. I feel it. Mini metal, also, I'll take that. Seeds. Ah, I, I must have found D's nut storage. They were around here somewhere. It does make sense. Da da da. Who are you? Otacon? I was instructed by King Pankras, the former king, to research the legendary castle of a place known as Zenithia. The problem is, now that his majesty is no longer around, I don't know if there's any point in continuing my research. I just sit in bed all day and watch anime. Do you know about Japanimation? Alright, maybe... maybe just, just don't build a Metal Gear while you're up here. Do whatever you want. Kingdom of Zenithia, huh? Remember that, it's gonna be on the test. When up looks at the bookshelves, nothing. 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 Oh, the rookie's guide to winning at chess. Nothing. Detailed strategies that each span several pages. Not that Minox ever gonna read the pages. <laughs> for those who may not know, my character was captured at the age of six and forced to work for ten years. So, uh, it's a, it's a wonder he's able to read at all. I don't think they had books back where he was forced to build temples and whatnot for monsters. But somehow, somehow it happened. Uh, I think that's about it for this town itself. I'm gonna do us all a favor and zoom on out of here. First stop, let's go check out what Harry's up to over at Coburg. Now, I came here earlier to buy a certain weapon for one of my monsters, and then... I, I don't- I noticed the boat. The, the boat's just hanging out. It's very, it's a very useful boat. Good. Yes. I feel bad. <laughs> Did they do that on purpose? Literally, you have to zoom somewhere else to use the boat again. Why? <laughs> Heckin'. Heckin' heck. Someone's pulling a prank on me. Doing me a heckin' wowzers. Must be Harry. He loves pranks. He knew I used Zoom. He knew I need that boat. Oh no, that's King Wilbur. Hello there, what a pleasure to see you. I've been hearing all about you from that brother of mine. I've been having my people look into this matter of the legendary hero for you. Sort of as a means of repaying my debt, you know. Now they've managed to learn that the shield used by their legendary hero currently resides in a town called Master Ferrato. Ah, oh, yeah, I got that already. Yeah, I also got a wife from there. They're handing him out by the dozen. You should go. You should go check it out, King Wilbur. I think they got one left. Her name's Nero. Oh, you have it already. I might have known you'd be on the case, Manok. I'm sure you'll succeed in finding the legendary hero. All legendary hero this, legendary hero that. You're making me hungry. I want a legendary hero sandwich. Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't recognize you for a minute. Do go on through. Am I interrupting something, Harry? Well, I... No, Matnock. I certainly wasn't tending to my wife that I love dearly. Well, well, well. It's Manok. How wonderful to see you, old friend. Marrying all... Married life going well, is it? Debra? Yeah, of course, sure. <laughs> Marvelous! Well, you did marry a beauty after all. Uh, just like my Maria, of course. Nice save, buddy. So now you have your partner in life, and it's finally time for you to set about finding the legendary hero. I wish I could go with you, but I have Maria to think about. Still, hopefully you'll drop in from time to time and keep us posted, eh? It can get a bit boring being stuck here in the castle all the while. 
It's lovely to see you again, Manok. All Harry ever talks about just lately is the time he spent traveling with you. I don't mind hearing his tales, but it's funny to see how men love their adventures so much. It's all we got going for us, ma'am. We live in a video game. Existence is nothing if not adventure. <laughs> Prince Harry literally does not develop as a character when he's not with me. You have to understand. You have to break the cycle. Ma'am, only you have the power. She doesn't have the power. We're doomed. All right, okay. Well, speaking of Master Ferrado, let's do a little bit of a checkup on uh, our sister-in-law and our father-in-law. You gotta meet with the family. It's almost Christmas, you know. Question for the chat. Anybody got any plans for the holidays? Anything fun? I have the power! All right, He-Man. Do you know the island just the east of Lone Star Harbor? Yeah, your casino island. I, uh, may be filthy stinking rich. Don't worry about it. Played a couple of double or nothings. That's where the Ventuna is more. My casino ship where you are married. That whole extravaganza was so hectic, you didn't have any time to enjoy yourselves. Why don't you take a short break there now? Just mention my name to the man who runs the ferry over to the ship, and you'll see that you're short around. I'm fairly certain this is the dialogue I already read from him. What, I don't get to tell him that he's gonna be a granddad? Grand? Dad! Nira, you're gonna be an auntie. To being ever so slightly envious at the wedding. You both look so happy. Well, this is your house too, Manok. You will always be welcome here. Always. Alright, that's ever so slightly disappointing, actually. This is an old game, it was on Super Nintendo before. But, uh. I thought they'd have a little bit extra dialogue to, you know, keep up with current events. Alright, here's something that I meant to do last stream, but I never got the chance because, you know, my wife was having a little episode. Don't ask, got to go to work. Have? Well, hope work goes well. At the very least, at the very least, make that bread. And then you can buy something nice for Christmas. If you celebrate it, of course. Okay, so there's nothing here necessarily that I need to see. But I was told of the legends of a desert rose. And this is going to be important. This is why I'm not going to st stock in battle quite yet. To see what Bianca's up to. Now her I haven't talked to at all ever since the, the wedding. They say that if you leave Helminoptera right at the break of dawn, you can see a little something something. What is this? Looks like a desert rose. Minok examines the ground at his feet. It was actually kind of huge. I thought it was going to be a little rock, not a boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. A rock. What luck, a desert rose. In the bag. This bag is going to be so freaking heavy. You know what's in here already? There's a literal stone, a rock. There's this tea set that I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, you know what? I think I know what I can do with it. They said it needed a good polishing. Remind me to do that later. A blooming branch? We got sticks, stones. All these clothes from when I was a servant. Ancient artifacts. Books, whips. I guess it's really just the desert rose that would probably be the heaviest thing in here. Let's look at it. Let's take a look at it. Uh, the desert rose appears to be a knickknack of some sort. You probably wouldn't find any shopkeeper. That's that's a okay. well. However, that's a lie. It's a big dang lie because I know exactly who would want this sort of thing. Still don't know why Sock and Barrel is not a direct zoom, but it's easy to get to. Take a look at this! Yellow Pikachu, what's up? How's it going? 
question of the day is, got any plans for the holidays? Anything nice going on? I'm not actually sure myself. I'm probably gonna take the next week off of stream and just have a little time with family. But, uh... Here's the first time I'm announcing this. Tomorrow is not the last stream before the break. I actually have something planned for Saturday. I just need to make sure what that plan is, which by that I mean I need to actually plan it. We're gonna have a little holiday stream. Doesn't that sound nice? I'm gonna check out if there's any new Christmas-themed indie games and collect them all and play as many as I can in one day. It's gonna be terrible. You know how many stealth indie games starring Santa Claus there are? You know how many of them are all called Secret Santa? Y'all, name it something different. You're not being original. You, you don't think anybody else would have come up with that already? Gosh, dang. <laughs> hey, that's a desert rose you got there. Wow, I've been after one of those for ages. I don't suppose I could have yours. For free? No, we're bartering. Well, that's a disappointment. I was planning on giving you something, some scintillating center in return as well. Well, that's... You should have mentioned it earlier, sir. Blimey! Thanks a lot, mate. Here, I'll give you some of the world-renowned scintillating center in return. That's not Australian. Yo, Pikachu's gonna eat with family. Nice. Maybe for once I'll learn how to bake a turkey. Seems simple enough. Maybe. The question is, what is a scintillating center? Oh, I'm full on crap again. Put that away. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah, that would happen. That's that's pretty much what happens when I grind up. It just all my bags fill with useless stuff. I don't need this anymore. I'll probably sell it. Don't tell me Preston got the scintillating center. Actually, it looks like it's a key item? Balmy bath salts from Stock and Barrel. What does this do? It's a knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone. Well, it's something. Deep fry that turkey. I've seen videos of people deep frying entire turkeys, like in a bag. You gotta be really careful when you pull that. Because, uh... Something goes wrong, and it literally explodes. Yeah, no, be careful. Usually it has to do with, like, pockets of ice. That when they hit the, the boiling oil, then <laughs> it does not make a good match. Cooking a chicken is easy. Just live during L.A. summer. Boy, do I confirm that. Boy, do I confirm that. Some people saying, like, oh, it's so hot. It's, it's 80 degrees. Yeah, try over 100. Imagine if I lived in Arizona. That's not just cooked. That's... That's absolutely fricasseed. Oh, <coughs> well, if it ain't Manok. Seeing you standing there really reminds me of your poor old dad, Pancreas. If only we could turn back the clock, eh? Yeah, where's Bianca? I thought she'd be here. I wanted to visit her. Oh, no. Maybe... Maybe she's off, uh... Hiding in this well. If she is, that'd be so sad. I do wonder, actually. Where would she be? Just contemplating life. Turned into nothing more than a mere NPC. Oh, I, I feel, I feel kind of bad about it. Don't worry. In the movie. In the movie, Bianca, you were picked. And that's all that matters. Don't tell me she's holed up with the guy pretending to be a priest. Queen Miku lives in a place that at one point during summer was the hottest city in the world. Absolutely, Queen Miku. You've got you've got a right to say it's hot. How you doing, Miku? Welcome on in. Look we'll do some Dagorong quest. We're having a nice little time. Oh, you know what? She's probably drinking. Oh, not here. I guess we're not visiting Bianca. I was looking forward to it too. Don't worry, I, I bet, I bet 
we'll see her again. Soon, someday. Chicken pot pie. That's me. You having a nice night, Queen Miku? We just traded a desert rose to a shady guy in a well, so... There's that. So this trip here wasn't all for nothing. No, no, no. Alright. One last thing to take care of. At the Nick Nakatore. How to cook chicken. Roa says, tell your aunt that you can make great chicken and they'll speedrun several batches to prove you wrong. <laughs> Why the several batches? Just to rub it in? Oh my. That's how it goes. Here's how you cook Christmas dinner. You, uh... Visit a Filipino family and you cannot leave until you take at least, like, five plates of food to go. It's how it happens. The treasure chest must be full of old man knickknacks, most precious things. Better leave it be. Leave it be! Today is the day after yesterday, so it is, just like every other day. But anyway, the fellow brought me a maxi medal, so he did. It was the least I could do to appoint him as curator. I wonder whether he'll make a go of the museum or not. Maybe he'll make it into the grand Nick Nakatori I always dreamt of. Don't worry, old man Nick. I got plans for this place. Miku's relaxing for a crazy weekend. Definitely, definitely. Not just this weekend, but this and the next weekend. I just stumbled upon this place while I was on my travels, you know. It's a very grand building, isn't it? If they just had some things on display, this place would be sensational. You'd like to take some home some leftovers? Well, here, Queen Miku. Have this plate of chicken adobo. It's just me. That's right. Now, for the first time ever, you can take home your very own Madokodobo Home Edition! It's just like a little board game with a picture of my stream on it. And it's just, it's just, just as disappointing as the real thing. <laughs> it's a pedestal for a knickknack exhibit. Oh, right, it has, to, it has to be nighttime before I can put stuff here. Fine. I still don't understand why that's a requirement. Like, the game is not connected to any internet or anything. Croissant can't wait for the mountain of food-filled Tupperware. <laughs> it really is a mountain, though. You gotta clean out your refrigerator before Christmas when it comes to my family. Mostly. I do wonder... I actually do wonder what we're gonna do this year, because the... The family members we usually see for Christmas aren't doing a thing this year, so we gotta we gotta figure out something for ourselves. We were actually also going to go for Thanksgiving. The plans were all set, but at the last minute they had to cancel, so... <laughs> That's how life is. Things are pretty unpredictable these days, and... It's understandable. Oh my, this silk dress. I'm keeping it safe. Deborah might want it. She can't exactly wear it right now because, you know, pregnant. All right, this is what I need to do. Let's put a little tea set up here. Check, check, check it out. Careful, careful. Oh, look at that, it's so nice. Let's give this thing a nice little polish. Where, where is my, there it is. My ShamWow. The fine silverware regains the luster it once enjoyed when it was lovingly used by the count of up to ten towers. Woohoo! That's fancy. It's got sparkles built in. I love it. Five star beauty. Heck yeah. That's gonna win me all the gotcha games. Queen Miku has a family of seven siblings. Seven siblings? Do they all cook? <laughs> Always make a lot of food. Ten pies! Is that coordinated? I would love to see them. I'd love to see them just all like lined up. That sounds freaking amazing. Days of your childhood. Wow. Pretty good. Hopefully it still happens. Croissant's got a big Christmas Eve thing. Always have Christmas at lunch at whatever restaurant. <laughs> That's usually what my family does whenever we have to do something by ourselves. We just restaurant it. 
usually the the local Chinese restaurant that we always celebrate things at because it tends to be open during holidays. Okay, that was the last thing I needed to take care of before story times. No, wait, there's one last thing. Y'all will just excuse me. I'm on my way there already. Usual plans may be different. More family around. Oh, that's exciting. Also makes sense. Gotta feed all those hungry mouths, right? Gonna cook up a, a giant pig. Get some lechon. Sounds delicious. It's only tradition. Look at these mermen. I'm sorry, Prince Sidon. I didn't mean to attack the Zora Kingdom. Yes, Curtis. Use that boomerang. I didn't realize Curtis was so fast. Well, faster than Preston, at least. I'm not surprised. My party's gonna have to do a little bit more grinding if they're gonna survive, though. Burning breath! Minoka pie emo? That sounds delicious. Although, I think by the time I come back from holiday break, it may not be the most... Aw, oh, crap. Hey, look at that. That's where we were enslaved. And it looks like the temple is complete. And we're gonna blow that up later, you know. It's gotta happen. Whoa! Da -da 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 -da. I do want some chicken pot pie. I've got some in the freezer. It's not fancy, but it was only a dollar. You should make a chicken dish and put my emote on it? <laughs> nom nom, Minoka tastes good. I do pride myself on my flavor. It's a flavor that you must savor. And when it's gone, you will crave her. Blow it up! Blow it all up! Just watch. I learned, like, the ultimate destructive fireball. Oh! What if I take... What if I learn the fireball that Laja, the bishop, used on my own dad? And I'm like, oh yeah? How do you feel when something that you love is taken away? And I just, like, make an even giant, bigger giant one. Call upon the power of the spirit bomb. People love her! Lend me your strength, dude! Like... Why do I sound like Shaggy? <laughs> Ultra Instinct Shaggy, it makes sense. What? Scoop! Lend me your strength, man! Zoinks! Are they the mini pop pies? Yeah! I don't know, I like them a lot. I used to get them so often when I was just in college because... A dollar meal, like, how do you beat that? How do you beat that on a college budget? You don't. Like... The next best thing was going to Subway, getting a $5 foot long, you know, back when they were $5. And then just like, making it last two or three meals, because that thing was... Maybe not big enough for some people to have for two meals, but on a budget you have to make it last. So, the casino ship. Our uh, father-in-law talked about it a little bit. Now, last time I streamed... Well, actually, the time before that, uh, I took my wifey on a honeymoon here. We did a little bit of casino gambling. And, uh, you know, I always struck it big. A little bit of a winning streak, 600 coins. I may have, uh, may have done some casino grinding off stream. Just, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. I only have a little bit more coins. Like, what could it possibly buy? You, just, you know, you, I probably, you go to Chuck E. Cheese, it probably buys one of those little little jars of candy with the Smarties and the Nerds rope. You, you, when you <laughs> I can afford the, the most expensive thing. Why is it so much more expensive than everything else, by the way? It's five times as much as the next most expensive thing. And it's only like, not that much more attack power? Although it is a whip. And like the other whips, that should probably mean it attacks everything on screen. Look. Look at who can equip it. How could I not grind up to get enough money for this? 
I'm gonna buy it, but with this one exception. Because it's kinda cheating to have this so early. I will only ever allow Preston to equip this thing. I looked it up and Deborah can also equip it. But only unless I don't have any other choice for some other re for some odd reason. This is now Preston's signature weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it'll be just perfect for your needs. Preston. Freaking Preston. We don't talk about Preston. But gosh dang, Preston. I was a bullfrog. Welcome. You had a chance to buy this 10 years ago and passed it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do like to talk about game collecting on this stream. You've come to the right place. I am so sorry. This game is like... I've been watching the prices for this because ever since the Dragon Quest big anniversary thing earlier this year, I've been collecting all the games and they are not cheap. I've been trying to find good deals. And this game in particular, it has gone up to like $300. I am so sorry. Absolutely. I'm sure I probably had the same opportunity years ago and I never even noticed it. The closest I got which I did end up buying was I found the cart only of this game for $100. Like, when would I ever find a deal that good? I don't know. I did find, well, you know, I found empty DS cases, and in the meantime, you can just print out an insert, but it's just not the same. Welcome on in, by the way. You know why I pass it up? You were a dumb 10 year old and thought, no, it's pixels. Oh. Oh. oh! I am so sorry. That definitely uh, had me pass up many a game when I was younger. Big regrets. Uncertain N64 games as well. I never bought, like, Conker's Bad Fur Day or Goemon. A whole bunch of other N64 stuff that ended up becoming expensive. And Game Boy Advance games? Do not talk to me about Game Boy Advance games. Those are the ones I regret the most. Let me just sleep with my wife for a second. What? I'm married. It's what I'm entitled to, okay? All the Castlevania games? I'm happy that they re-released the Castlevania Game Boy Advance games in a collection recently. But if you wanted to find copies of those in the box, good. <laughs> Good freaking luck. A loose copy of, was it, Harmony of Dissonance goes for like $90. In the box? Good. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. We've got Heart Gold and Soul Silver with a full box of Poke Walker. Very nice. I did buy those when they were new, and I don't regret it one bit. I think those are like $500 each. You can't see it right now, but I am grimacing. Morning, honey. What? They brought you breakfast? Really? They brought something. You were hungry, so you ate it all. Oh, good. I don't get any. It's okay. I'm an RPG hero. I don't need to eat, shower, use the bathroom. I have no biological functions. I can't even speak. I am just attack and cast spells. And apparently, uh, create children. Don't ask how that works. I can just leave this place. Da, da, mm, da. Funny you mention that, actually, the Poke Walker. Uh, while I had Heart Gold and Soul Silver on release, uh, with Soul Silver, I used the Poke Walker. I was in college when it came out, so. I would walk back and forth between class and just level up my Caterpie or whatever. And it was really fun, but because I actually used it, I lost it for the longest time. I knew I still had it, like, I didn't lose it on campus or anything, I just think I put it in a box at some point, and then when I brought it back home from college, like, I never remembered which box it was. But, just last weekend, literally just this last weekend, my dad found it while he was rummaging around in the garage. 
up until now, I had not seen hide nor was it? What's the phrase? Hide nor hair of the thing. I was I was this close to buying it again on eBay. You don't happen to know how much a lone Pokewalker Walker goes on eBay, do you? I was almost going to check. Technically, the hero can die. Yes, that is a function. It is the last function you ever do. It's really refreshing in Dragon Quest, if y'all don't know, because your party can just be whatever. You don't need to have the hero on it. If I want my party to just be a slime, so be it. Look, I am slime. Hear me roar. Wow, well, but then you go back into a town and you have to be a hero. All right, one up I want today, here, now, is me, cat, Preston, heal. All right. And let's uh, prepare for some rites of passage, shall we? It goes for a lot. Not as much as the game, right? Like, I, I'm guessing, what, $100 at the most? Please say $100 at most for a Pokewalker. 70 Australian. Oh, okay. 40 US. That... Sadly, sounds about right. Sadly, sounds about right. These things are catching crack on me! I don't want to become addicted! I'm clean! I'm clean! So this is a relatively new area for us, so I'm somewhat fearful of what's around here. But so far, it's not actually that bad. It only does 12 damage to Curtis. Curtis being our lowest level party member, so we're, 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 we're hunky-dory. You know what I want to find again? My, uh... Not the Pokewalker, because I just found it. I want to find that Wii U pedometer for Wii Fit U that was basically exactly the same hardware as the Pokewalker. You could tell it was just the same shell with a different skin. So, you know, Nintendo making good use of their technology that they're already producing in the factory. <laughs> I don't know if that's going for much these days. It might only go for, I don't know, 15 bucks or something. But hey, as a retro game enthusiast, you gotta keep an eye out for that kind of stuff where things share hardware. You'll never know when the Pokewalker is gonna bite the bucket and you need to repair it, and the only parts you, you can get are scavenged from other pieces. Like, maybe your Pokewalker screen broke. Ooh, what is this place? The Rite of Passage looks kind of phallic. <laughs> It's not just me, right? You, you seeing that? Oh, it's one of these! It's the Heart Home Gym in Pokemon! Doors! What's behind door number four? Yeah, so wild they use the shell twice. Like, if, it, if the screen breaks, you could totally cannibalize the screen from the Wii U. Not Pokewalker, right? Yeah, it's amazing what you can salvage. When I, uh bought my copy of Earthbound. I specifically looked for one that was a little bit damaged, but only on the back. I was able to get that for a pretty decent price. And then you just swap the back of the shell with another Super Nintendo cartridge. Easy. Although you had to find one that was made in the same factory. Turns out Earthbound, Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3, and Chrono Trigger were the only games ever made in that factory. So, my Earthbound copy currently has the back from Donkey Kong Country 3. I wasn't gonna cannibalize any other one of those games. Not that I have Chrono Trigger, I don't have that. I wish I did, though. I wish I did. That's one of my white whales of game collecting. You must vow to promote communication and understanding even between those whose backs are turned. The insignia will guide the way. Ooh. What happens if I get it wrong, though? Whoa. Hello? Oh, this is a puzzle. Let me read that again. Nice eggplant, Queen Miku. <laughs> you know, eggplant, that's what this dungeon looks like. Still $500 for Chrono Trigger? 
Oh, no, it's it's more than that now. Bullfrog, it's, it's a little bit more. Last time I checked, it was like $750 in the box. But like, not with all the manuals and stuff. It's, it's It kind of sucks. Hirosoma, thanks for the suspicious. How's it going? Communication and understanding even to those who've actually turned. So, what I think we have to do is get every pair of statues to face each other. I think. That looks nice. You love the face rig, convinced I'm a chicken. I am a chicken! Whoa! The thing changed. You should have seen when I had a, a more legit VTuber model. I made it for April Fools, but I never meant to keep it for very long. I ended up keeping it for a couple of months. Right now, it's just my smug emote looking a little, a little sussy baka. Sussy bak bak bak. Hello? Whoa, whoa! This is freaky! Oh, I'm going up and down and all around. I see a treasure chest over there. I'm a little scared to look at it. I've got, I've got some PTSD. These things ain't nothing. I fought a dozen of ya. Guri Soma's just chilling. Very nice. It is near the end of the week. Hope everyone's got some chill plans for the weekend. I've got some things to return. <laughs> to Amazon and, and Best Buy because I bought entirely too much stuff over Black Friday and I'm like, you know what? I don't actually need this. They got all those holiday return periods. I'm going to make use of them. So, uh... Currently, there are three copies of Halo Infinite. Whoa, hula ghouls. They look like they've been out in the sun too long. Mrs., are you okay? Are you sunburnt? That doesn't look very healthy. I should look at how much damage Preston is doing. He's got the best weapon right now, actually. They're trying to dance at me. Nice slime controller, by the way. Yeah, if only I had one in real life. Drew, if you get a slime controller through some means, do you promise to play Dragon Quest with it? <laughs> uh, I actually do have the PlayStation 4 slime controller, but the one I want is this Nintendo Switch one. Okay, ma'am, this is a this is a family-friendly stream. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop gyrating so suggestively. I'm a married man. That's what this dungeon is a test of. It's a test of my loyalty <laughs> to my family. Yeah. No idea how I did it. So it's actually uh, the thing I got right now is a ping tuber, PNG tuber. It's been gaining some traction lately, actually. Preston is envenomed. Oh no. Is he going to chase Shocker to the ends of the earth? Or is he going to take doctored photos of Spider-Man? Eddie Brock! Shocker! I'll chase you to the ends of the earth! Ooh. I don't even want to do it as... as the cartoon does. I bet that voice actor is still raspy to this day. I wonder if Squelch gets rid of this. Oh good, it does. <laughs> Drewby does promise. All right, I got to focus on getting you a slime controller. <laughs> uh, ooh, look at this. Oh God! Ah! Oops. Didn't mean to do that. The Switch slime controller is currently going for not that much but also not cheap. It's going for like $150 with an MSRP of only like, not that. Whoa! Hey! Look at me, I'm so accidentally smart. I stopped myself from getting washed away from the current by blocking myself with a rock. Yes, of course. As someone named Chris, I have much experience with boulders. Usually I have to punch them until they behave. 
this one, this one was already my friend from the get-go. It knew. It knew the legends of Chris Redfield. Not gonna get the slime controller. 600 Aussie dollary days. Oh, jeez. Import fees are a heckin' heck. Absolutely, Bullfrog. It's a little ironic that Australia... I'm, I'm assuming you're in Australia if you're using Australian dollars. A little ironic that it's closer to Japan, but because of fees, it ends up being a little, a little bit more. I do watch this Australian YouTuber uh, named DankPods. He reviews MP3 players and iPod accessories. Because now iPods are retro. He talks about how he keeps buy having to buy MP3 players from American eBay. But the fees, like, turn this old $5 MP3 player that nobody wants into, like, hundreds of dollars because, of course. Moral of the story, don't have niche hobbies like I do. <laughs> too late. If you're, t if you're here, too late. Importers love the rib people. Oh, snap, you live in the same pit city as Dank? Heck yeah. A suit of spiked armor. I hope that's not cursed. Dankpods actually streams on Twitch. I think his Twitch handle is Garbage Time? Garbage Stream? He does, like, drum streams, like 8-Bit Drummer does. But, uh, because Australia, I usually am not awake when he streams, sadly enough. I'm happy to say I'm one of the first people to ever follow his channel. <laughs> I guess if that counts for anything. da 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 Queen Miku has her iPod Nano from years ago. Keep good care of it, Queen Miku. It's vintage now. It gets harder and harder to find those things because they keep having their batteries explode. Okay, where's that armor I just picked up? There it is. May hold a spiky surprise for the unwary attacker. Peep it. Yeah. You've been to the same cashies. Oh! Oh, for those who don't know, Cashies is basically the Australian Goodwill or whatever thrift store of choice. And, you know, sometimes that YouTube channel does little adventures to the Cashies. Cash Converters, I think it's actually called. It's, it's hilarious because he finds the most interesting stuff there. Aw oh, man, nobody here can actually use this thing. Lame. Pretty expensive though. Can I open this? I can. Oh no, left or right? I picked left. Oh god. If a wall should come between us Too high to climb, too hard to break through I know that love will lead us to find a way to bring me to you. I remember one episode where he went to Cashy's. He found a, uh, like, full collection of Pogs from the 90s? Was that him? Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else who goes to thrift stores. I watch, I, I tend to watch a lot of those kinds of, like, thrift store. Not dumpster diving, but it might as well be. <laughs> Just find the craziest stuff at thrift stores. It all started with the channel Ashens on YouTube, where he just buys weird stuff from the dollar store. Oh, sorry, Poundland. I need to heal after this. You want a mower? Bam, cashies. Use record player? Cashies. You want somebody stolen stereo? Cashies. Sorry, I'm doing a terrible Australian accent. I'll try to do better. <laughs> It's one of the accents I need to practice more. Sniping's a good job, Mike. Challenging work, out of doors. I guarantee you'll not go angry. Because at the end of the day, long as there's two people left on the planet, somebody's gonna want somebody dead. I tried really hard to think of a song that had to do with a wall. That was the one I came up with, Croissant. It's your favorite- it's my favorite song from any Disney movie ever. Freaking Goofy movie. I've not done many 
movie nights in my Discord, but Goofy Movie was my favorite movie night I've ever done. <laughs> that was a fun night. We watched Goofy Movie 1 and Extremely Goofy Movie, and uh, when Extremely Goofy Movie came up, everyone just fell asleep. I mean, everyone was hyped for Goofy Movie. We were freaking singing along to the music, and by that I mean typing along. Powerline concert! Goofy went to LA! Wow! Y'all! Goofy was in my city! At the Powerline concert! Wow! And then that one security guard died! Because Max, like, swung him into the, to the screen! We don't talk about that. He did find the pox, okay. A mouse might be coming to get me. No, please, no DMCA. No DMCA, Mickey. I'm cursed. Please don't tell me curse persists in the overworld. Okay, no, we're good. Heal up. I'm so happy Curtis is here. He's got so much MP. I don't have to worry about healing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I to I is also a favorite of yours. Well, yeah, that's one of the one I was singing. That's the uh, second verse of I to I. I've got myself a notion. And one, I hope that you'll understand To set the world in motion By reaching out for each other's hand Ah, yes, I... I guess you meant stand out Oh, but after today, though? When I was in high school, I always thought, like, if I had friends that we could recreate on the last day of school the, the the music video from Goofy Movie for Stand Out. Or like, he's... No, I mean, uh, for, uh... Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm remembering nostalgia. Mika, thanks for the raid. Give me a second. Okay, can anybody tell me that song from Goofy Movie? I'm blanking on it, right? After today. I just said it. After today, my brain will be snoozing. I'm gonna sit on my butt. Yeah! That's the one. I always thought in high school, like, if I had friends, we could actually recreate it. That never happened, but somebody on YouTube did. Mika, thank you for the raid. Queen Miku, thanks for shouting out Mika. That's not going to get confusing at all. Welcome on in. Bullfrog found Kashi's Dragon Quest V for the SNES? What? Wait, what? You mean the Japanese version? Was there a PAL version? I don't think it ever got released in PAL, you know it might be a repro card. Either way, I'd still buy it for 25 bucks. Mika, how was the stream? I saw you were playing a little bit of Fallout New Vegas, continuing your first playthrough of it. Welcome on in, gamer boy, NVZ. Hello, hello, nice rave. Oh god, I'm poisoned. No, I'm cursed. Oops. I hope I can get rid of that, or else my Preston is going to die. Oh. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Anything I can do about that? How how to lift curse? Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I guess Preston's just gonna die. He's got a nice amount of MP though. Hope you had a fun time, Mika. What kind of character are you making in Fallout? Okay, this statue is not moving. What the hell do I do? Japanese version. Oh, okay, okay. It's actually pretty, well, if you count import fees, then $25 Australian, probably a good price. Dragon Quest V, hard to come by, especially. Never got released outside of Japan. Besides this, you know, DS version. Welcome on in everybody from the Mika Raid. It's so fun, nice. Just call you queen. All right, all right, Mika. Your character's Ungabunda. Must go bed. Have a good night, Mika. Thank you for the raid. Y'all, go check out Prismaya. Go check her out. Affiliated with the Games Were Painted team. Uh, very chaotic. And also, uh, apparently unga things in Fallout New Vegas. Likes the RPGs. She just finished Persona 4 Golden the other month. 
and admirer, huh? These things, these things follow you on Twitch. What? No! No! I have to fight Preston? No, this is, this is all kinds of messed up. How could I defeat my friend so easily? Die, Preston, die. If y'all are new here, welcome to the stream. I am a chicken, my name is Chris, and I play RPGs. I, you know, do a little bit of the voice acting here and there, and generally try to keep my party members alive. Not exactly sure what Curse does. I don't think it's poison. I don't think he loses HP, but maybe his speed is lower? That's fine. That's right there. $25 is a great price. They have two! Hmm. Buy one to keep. Buy one to play, maybe. I'm gonna be real. Actually, what I've done, uh, I did this on my own time. Welcome on in. We're playing Dragon Quest V. It is a classic game that only came out in Japan officially for the Super Famicom back in the 90s. And then eventually got remade for the PS2 and DS. What I did was I found a copy of Dragon Quest V for the Super Famicom. Then I got one of those fan reproduction cartridges that put translation ROMs and I swapped out the innards. So I have now a English copy of Dragon Quest V inside a Japanese Dragon Quest V shell. And I think that's official as I'm going to get. Akira Dulce, welcome on in. My knock has a sexy voice. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe now I should just reveal what my true voice sounds to y'all. It sounds like this, dude. I am, like, totally California streamer man. Like, <laughs> Nice. The royal insignia of Gotha gives off a dignified glow. Manok finds the royal insignia. <laughs> Being cursed makes you not gain EXP. Oh. Thank you, Gurusoma. Have you seen this game before, Gurusoma? It's not the first Dragon Quest game I've played. Stop right there, criminal scum! No, I thought I wasn't playing a Bethesda game! It's because of the Mika raid, isn't it? Hello? Totally tubular! Righteous! I'm a turtle. Yeah, I'm the turtle from Finding Nemo. I'm 100 years old. I am about to be a father, though. We can't possibly allow you to make off with the royal insignia. There are people out there who find the idea of you becoming king of Gotha more than a little distasteful, you see, Manok. Shh! Too much information! Just hand it over! Congratulations, we have now influenced these people to be Californian and a New Yorker. Yeah, see? I guess more like Chicago gangster. Is that a hippo? Who are these? Robin Hood. Hippopolacamus. Well, we're not in the best state, but it's really just Preston, so let's go ahead and make this happen. All right, boss fight. What are we going to do? Um, I'm going to buff. Who needs more defense? Uh, Curtis does. Do a little war cry, see if enemies get intimidated. We'll focus on magic damage with Preston. How much does a frizzle do, I wonder? Robin Hood seems a little more dangerous. We're also gonna buff Preston. Unsurprised. Frozen with fear. Good, good, good. You've not seen this Dragon Quest, only play 8 and 11. A lot of the stuff that gets introduced in Dragon Quest games does carry over to later games, so it's probably... You're probably right about what it does. Okay, we'll do another buff on... Mohicat. We'll heal him with Curtis as well. Let's do a focus strength, double your attack, abilities... I didn't see how much damage the Frizzle did. I need to check that. Mid-heal, Mohicat. Wonderful. 66. Not bad. Ow. Whoa. Wonderful. Whoa, how much was that? 
83 points of damage after a buff. Yeah, we need to do something about that Robin Hood. Um, I have an idea. Uh, I have a Dream Blade. I'm going to try to put him to sleep. Mohicat also has the Zizwiz pillow, so we're gonna do that as well. Yeah, I, I was right about him being dangerous. We'll continue attacking, and... Do another full... Heal. No, just mid-heal on Preston. Please, 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 just go to sleep. It's past your bedtime! Oof. Ouch. Not too bad. Let's continue with what we got going. You did play Dragon Warrior. Nice! On the NES? I commend anybody who plays Dragon Warrior on the NES. I played the remake on the Switch. The one that's just a port of the mobile game. And let me tell you, it is... Definitely a rough game. Definitely a little more than rough. Get the, 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 the. Let's try the Zizu's pillow again, actually. Keep going with Frizzle. Miss Frizzle! Miss Frizzle! Yes, NES. Congratulations. I think in that game you weren't even allowed to save except at the main city. So if you die, good luck. Jeez. I'm gonna try the Zizwiz pillow one more time, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to just assume that he can't fall asleep. Da -da 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 -da. You can buff main character. Yeah, okay, he's a little restless. Just like me, can't fall asleep. Don't you, Jang? Welcome on in! Very nice sauce, by the way. I do love Twitch usernames named after food! If my own username wasn't any indication, welcome on in. Hope you're doing pretty well. I want to see how much damage an attack does, because Preston has a good weapon. Maybe the best weapon right now, don't worry about it. I didn't cheat. Da, 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 da. Love this game! Yeah! I'm loving it too! This is basically the first time I played Dragon Quest V, but I did uh, watch Dragon Quest Your Story. A little disappointing that I have. I kind of wanted to play this game first, but hey, you know what? I'm making the most of it, and I'm loving all these little differences from the movie as well. I've really- I just recently got into the Dragon Quest series, and it has been a freaking time. I played Dragon Quest 1 and 2, uh, skipped 3 because of that remake coming out. Played Dragon Quest 4, and Dragon Quest 4 is actually freaking fantastic. I'm still deciding whether or not I like 4 or this better, actually. It's- 4 is that good. I haven't finished this game yet, but so far it's done a fantastic job of really making me feel like I'm progressing in my character's life. And we're just taking it day by day, life event after life event. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more responsibility. I'm down here trying to be a good husband, trying to become King Agatha. Did I ask for this? No, but it is my duty. It is my lifeblood, my lineage. And unlike, you know, other video games, Dragon Quest 1 included, where you're like, oh, you have to be the hero because you're the great-great-grandson of the ancient hero. Like, that's not as personal. That's not as fun. But in this game, you literally see your father in action as a big old damn hero. What he could do... Oh crap, Curtis is out of MP. Uh, can I switch him out in the party? Do I have the wagon? I can't. Alright, he's just gonna be a little squishy... ...target for now. That, that's pretty... that's that's fine. Wait, do I have any more... Oh, I can't use the prayer ring on Curtis! I don't have any way to heal his MP, that's a problem. 
We'll just continue attacking. I feel like Robin Hood is on the ropes at this point. He's gotta be. Don't have drain magic. Do you have anything? Doesn't look like it. All right, just attack. Sauce has got to stick together. Heck yeah. Fire Plum, welcome on in. Excuse me, I didn't see you for a bit. I am in the middle of a boss battle. Cryoplum, hope you're having a nice night. How you doing? Y'all, if you don't know Cryoplum, she is a VTuber cat girl who is uh, quite comfy, if I do say so myself. Also playing Fallout New Vegas recently, along with Prismaya. I don't know if y'all planned that, but it's fun to see you both playing at essentially the same time. Go full heal on Preston. He deserves it, just once. I just hope I move faster than any of the enemies. Sure, I didn't cheat. Right. Yes. You got it, Queen Miku. I did not cheat. Bullfrog's gotta bounce. Have a good one. Thanks for coming on by, Bullfrog. Hope to see you again soon. Come on, Robin Hood. Come on, just give me this. Stop taking all my stocks and stopping me from buying GameStop. We gotta hold the line. Hold the line, is that still a thing? I don't actually know. I forgot to heal Mohi Cat. That might be a problem. Oh, we're actually more than good. If a block miss, you ain't nothing. You may be a hungry, hungry hippo, but I am winning this DPS race. A little focus strength. I wonder if a frizzle might actually do more damage right now. Let's throw some boxer shorts at the enemy. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll recoil in disgust. That's a little bit of a waste of MP. Not sure what else we can do. I'm gonna try to put this one to sleep with the Zizwiz pillow. Briar Plum says it was a happy coincidence. Oh, well. How about that, huh? Playing Fortnite. Woo! Are you getting those W's? Those victory royales? That hippopotamus did not have that much HP, actually. 1352 experience! If only Preston had some of that. How do I not know about stock investments? Look at all that chicken stock I have! Yellow Pikachu, I inherited this chicken stock from my fathers and my forefathers and my five fathers and every other father. Maybe someday I'll invest it. But today is not that day. <laughs> nice. Yeah, best of luck to you, Cryoplum. I usually don't play that many online shooters. Okay, Preston is definitely doing something. You know what? Evac. Might as well. Sweet. Let's get on down to Gotha. Gonna have ourselves a time. That was nothing. You know what? How long did I spend in that dungeon? What if I spent nine months in that dungeon and now my wife is ready to give birth? How long was I in there? How long have I been asleep? Head on down to the church real quick to lift that curse. Come home and my son is a man. Not only did I miss the birth, I missed his like first, second, third, and 18th birthday. Time works in mysterious ways. It's purification, right? No, that's poison. The benediction? I guess? Lift the infernal curse afflicting Preston. Meanwhile, the goddess is like, well, I lifted the curse, but there's still something wrong with him. No, that's just, 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 just how Preston is. Are you sure? I can try to fix him. I don't think any higher power can fix Preston, ma'am. All right. 
Cryoplum almost got some dubs, been a bit unlucky. You'll get him, Cryoplum. I believe in you. You have my chickeny luck. I'm sure not using it. I'm stealing it from Preston, really. Alright. I come back with the groceries. My wife's cravings will be fulfilled. <laughs> I got the soy sauce. I got the pickles. And she'll be like, What is wrong with you? I asked for the limited edition Toby Maguire Spider-Man cookies. Th did that exist? No, but I want them. I want you to make them happen. Go back to the year 2008. Make Sony make some limited edition Spider-Man cookies. I want them. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. My wife is needy, but anything for her. Cryo needs to play more Apex with Akira. True that, Akira, do say. <laughs> Kamen Rider, thank you for the raid. Can we get a shout out for Kamen Rider? Thank you for shouting out Kamen Rider. Don't mind me, let me just sleep with my wife real quick. Oi! Live on stream. You're gonna have to start getting up earlier, you know. And another thing, you're a really noisy sleeper. Last time she said they brought breakfast and she just ate it all. Look, she's eating for two, it's all, it all makes sense. It, it, it checks out. How was the Super Robot Wars? Common Rider. If y'all don't know Common Rider, he's a Common Rider VTuber who is a mega hero playing all those quirky indie games from Japan and also some favorites. Super Robot Wars is one of his latest indulgences. Brad, what's up? Welcome. How you doing? How was the stream? I have two bots now? Do I? I got two people shouting out and I am very thankful for them. Yeah. Oop. And uh, let me just say the other day I was watching Kamen Rider play Tomato Adventure. I think that was the name of the game. Basically the first game that the Mario and Luigi devs ever made. It looks really nice. Do you plan on continuing it anytime soon, Kamen? Minok gazes into the mirror. He opens his mouth wide to check for bad teeth. You know, they don't really have a dental plan when you're an indentured servant for 10 years. A smiling face with a healthy tan stares back. There's a slime in that room. I'm gonna try to make my way in there. Stream elements and Manuka Doba. Oh, you're right! You're right, sorry, I didn't notice that. Uh, I turned on Stream Elements because Stream Labs was broken the other day, and also I shouldn't be using Stream Labs. It's okay, you get twice as many shoutouts. Don't mute me to a point. I'm curry enough as it is. And I'm not a bad slime, you know. Really, I promise. It's a long time ago now, but I used to be Queen Mara's pet slime once. Can you tell me anything about my mom? Was she a good woman? Did she go to Good Burger when I was a little baby and try to get me a Good bo Burger home with a Good Burger? Get me the kids meal, the little toy, the Bionicles. Tomato was a one shot. Aw, you might go back to finish it once you clear the new games. If you don't finish it, come in, I'll play it. Because I, I do want to. I've streamed to Mario and Luigi and Bowser's Inside Story before. I need to play more of those games. Also, let's play Jay. I see you there. With Minoka Craig, how's it going? Also, Sprint, welcome on in! Got to work, not cut up. Well, I hope you didn't notice who I married, please. <laughs> Have a good look, Sprint. Nobody tell him. It's a secret. It's a secret. Uh, what did I need? Oh, I need to actually turn in the quest. Frickin', I got distracted. Who was it? Who did I marry? I married Preston. Of course. As you can see. But Preston's right there. Yeah! Preston's pregnant and also in our party. 
Aren't they just the best wife? So diligent. Making sure that our unborn fetus gets experience while it's in the womb. Now that is determination in battle. Got the castle assembly hall. Yo, we're gonna have assemblies in here? School field trips? No more pep rallies to cut. Blech. After today, my sprain at the pudding. I got less than an hour, and when this is ended, I'll either be famous or you'll be suspended. <laughs> Jay'll be mostly working. Hey, have have a good one, Jay. Hope you're uh, stocking up on eggs, cause you know we're gonna be redeeming that redemption you have. I say, Manok, well done. Jolly good show. The Royal Insignia. You reeled it in hook, line, and sinker, eh? Now we can get on with the business of unkinging me and kinging you. Is it painful? Oh, yes, very. For you. This crown, it's got spikes in it. I've already gone long numb to the pain years ago. But when you put it on that first time, whoo, it's a doozy. I presume we've heard the last of your grumblings on the matter now, Jeeves. Grumbling, sir. I was merely directing your attention to the traditional practices of the House of Gotha. Well, yes, all right then. But anyway, Manox proved he's up to the task, so there's nothing stopping us now. Brad just won 10,000 eggs? Well, I still remember when I had literally 4 million channel points on your channel, Brad. Those were the days. Precisely, sir. It would be customary at this point for me to inform your subjects of the change of circumstances. And there's the matter of the ceremony, of course. Shall I begin making arrangements, sir? Very good, sir. I shall set the necessary wheels into motion. If you'll excuse me. I feel like I should keep an eye on him. You can just never trust a Chancellor in an RPG, right? Right? Is it just me? I've been betrayed by way too many of them. Frickin' Chrono Trigger. I think Final Fantasy XII also has a situation like that. I don't know, I haven't actually played Final Fantasy XII. Mmm, yes. Jeeves is a funny old bird. He seemed completely against the idea at first, but now he's all acted like a rat up a drain pipe. Hmm. Hello? Your Highness, Your Highness, it's time! For... what? What on earth's the matter? Prince Albert went through a painful coronation ceremony himself. Yeah, they stuffed him in a can. Prince Albert in a can? What? Wait, what? Wait, wait! How long have I been in a cave? Have I been out for nine months? I was literally sleeping with her last night. I mean... It's your wife, Manok. Lady Deborah is... The baby is... Oh, oh no! Oh no! Go, 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 go! Great Scott! You mean, it's been born already? No, but it will be any minute now. Well, drinks all around later then, eh? A new king and a new prince all on the same day. What a smasher! Hop along now, Manok. Off to do your husbandly duty. Oh my god! Follow me, please, sir. The Mario RPG Chancellor didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, it's just, you know, someone trying to impersonate him. What? What? Manok, what's the hurry? Were you so lost without me? It's okay, I'm fine. Just, just go and wait downstairs. Are you sure? Are you sure? Just go! The floor I ripped your head off! I said I'm fine! Didn't I? Oh, geez. Oh, gosh! There's so much blood! Do not worry, my child. The goddess delivers new life into the world with love and compassion. With such a handsome father and beautiful mother, it's going to be a pure, gorgeous little baby, I have no doubt. You alright, honey? You did this to me! Okay, bye! Oh, 
don't you worry, pet. This is the third baby I delivered, you know. I'm a damn hand. You just wait downstairs and leave everything to us girls. All right, okay. Oh, I'm going to be pacing back and forth with a cigarette in my mouth just like the old cartoons. This seems familiar, doesn't it? The eggs are hatching. Imagine she gives birth. <laughs> you see Preston? Preston, what did you do? I see. Any minute now, then, is it? I wonder if it'll be a prince or a princess. Either way, it'll be a chip of the old block, I'm sure. Sancho. Hey, friend. I'm coming as soon as I hear the news. You know, it reminds me of the day you were born, friend. We were waiting in this very room. Your father, Senor Pancras, he was just so happy when you were born. Ooh, do I have to wait? Do I actually have to wait in real time? Uh, uh, uh. Does this count as a monkey's paw wish? I guess so. Maybe babies just take that fast in this world. I don't know. Is it safe to go up yet? I I I don't I don't want to. I don't want to go back up too soon. Come along now, Manok. Don't get yourself all worked up. What are we going to name the baby? Oh no, we didn't ultrasound. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I know you're worried and all that, but you'll be a father any minute now. You need to buck up your ideas and start acting like that. Oh my gosh, it was a liquid metal slime. Oh, I think that's just the... I think that's just the afterbirth. What? Why don't you have a chat with the guards or something? Maybe they'll let us stop you fidgeting. Uh. Looks like you're about to be a father at last, sir. <sighs> Don't worry, sir. I'm sure you'll be a fine father. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. The baby named Bebe. I was very, very... Oh. <gasps> I was very tempted to. Sir, Manok, sir. You're a father. <gasps> Oh my god! It's... It's a bunch of bullets! Oh no! Deborah, what a... Whoa! Here it comes! I can see the head! Push! Push, Deborah! Push! Ah! False alarm. Oh, friend, your old Uncle Sancho. He's so happy for you. Well, stick pins in me and call me a cacti ball. Don't mind us, but I'm going to congratulate your wife. I'm going. Ha. Oh. 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 oh, my God. <gasps> Twins. Little boy has your eyes, Manok. They're so kind and, well, I can't find the right word to describe them. Unique, perhaps. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Two babies! Oh, I wasn't ready for this. And the girl is the image of her mother. She'll grow up to be a very beautiful woman, too. I have no doubt. Where have you been, Manok? And what are you grinning like that for? <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, that's just Preston. Look look at him right there. Ha <laughs> ha! I get to name the two babies? What is this, a Nuzlocke? Ah, uh, jeez. None of them are shiny. Into the box they go. <laughs> I suppose you want to congratulate me now and tell me how wonderful I've been. My god, Deborah, You just popped out two kids. And you're just as smug as ever. That is actually... That is actually heckin' amazing. She's a strong woman. I know I married the right one! Yes. Don't get carried away. I don't need you to tell me how great I am. I'm perfectly aware of that myself. Okay, you know what? You deserve it. You deserve it on this fine day. But enough about me for now. Look! Look at our babies! 
Now then, we need to think of names for them. But I find all that thinking a bit overrated, really. So you're going to do it. Deborah's a boss. What are we going to call the boy? What are we going to call the boy? What? Perry. That, that's a terrible name, though. That's not the right... Uh, da, 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 Erd, Erdrick. No. We're gonna call him... Chunky. Now, wait a minute. Chick and Ken? Okay, actually, Chris saw that's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's actually perfect. If one's a boy, one's a girl, he could be Ken. Oh, come on. It's not that simple, is it? Come on, chat. Throw more names at me. This is a special occasion. We're all in it together. Egg and Erg, of course, yes. Chimkin Jr. Preston! Preton. Preston too. Egbert. Oh, Egbert, huh? Da, da, da. Minoka Eyes, Preston the Lesser, Impreston, Benedict. Benedict, I do like Benedict. But if one is Benedict, does the girl have to be Egg? What, you Egg? He stabs him. You weren't kidding about Chicken Ken. I actually like Chicken Ken. Like Cheek, Chica. Oh, that's so tempting. That is actually really tempting. Okay. Okay. It's that's how it's gonna have to be. I I keep trying to like think of anything else, but I I, I can't think of anything better than that. It's just so perfect. Yakitori coming! Niwatori. Ken. And how about the girl? Tamago Gohan. Wanna have a nice little egg lunch? Imagine! I need to have a word with whatever Square Enix localizer came up with the default names. They are terrible. Hmm. They don't suit someone as worthy as Deborah's own son and daughter. Now, do I want to go with Cheek? Or, like, Chica? Chica just makes me think of Five Nights at Freddy's now, though. Unfortunately. Here, her name is Ch Chic. Where's the cue? Water. Thanks for the hydrate, by the way. Perry! Perry! Thrust! Wait a minute. That was nine months ago. Ken and Cheek. Now wait a minute. All the way around. Origination! Here's the raid that never fades. It makes me pause and save my game. We hope you had a good old day. Raid! Welcome, you've come to the miracle of childbirth. Look at my two beautiful babies! Whoa! And my beautiful wife, of course. This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. Same as it ever was! How's it going, Ori? Not really, Eric. Welcome on in, everybody. Soul Sapphire, welcome back. Long time no see. We just named our kids. My kids. The girl's name is Cheek, and the guy's name is Ken. I don't know why I bother asking you to do things sometimes. Oh well, they'll do, I suppose. You know you love them, babe. Are you sure you're happy with Ken and Cheek as names then? Very chic. Yes, oh, I love them. They are my babies. They're gonna grow up big and strong. Ken and Cheek it is. I hope there'll be peace in the world by the time they grow up. Yes. World peace. That's what I hope for. Deborah, what's gone over you? Well, you know childbirth just takes the smugness right out of you. That's true. Right, well, I'm pretty shattered now, so I'm going to get some sleep. <laughs> There's no room for you in the bed now, my dog. You'll have to sleep on the floor. Oh, you know, I'm used to it. That's quite all right. I've got a throne to attend to anyway. The news of the new monarch, Manok. 
It's a manarchy, and the birth of his son and daughter quickly spreads through Gotha that night. Everyone is delighted to learn that Manok, the son of their former king Pancras, is still alive. And everyone applauds Prince Albert, the Prince Regent, for his wise decision. His decision to relinquish the throne to Gotha, to a new ruler, King Manok. Well, they sure are two sprites of babies. Oh, you're awake. I slept like a princess last night. Well, how fitting, because now you're a queen. So today's the day of your coronation, isn't it? Just make sure you know that what you have to do. I don't want you embarrassing me. Wouldn't dream of it, dear. Oh yes, I suppose this would be a good time to tell you. There's a third one coming. What? Nira and I, we're not really Mama and Papa's children. We are sisters, though, if you can believe such a timid little mouse shares any common blood with me. We were adopted when we were small, you see. Apparently, Papa thought it was his destiny to look after us or something when he saw us two little orphans. I don't know what destiny he was thinking about exactly, but anyway, at least I got to grow up with everything I needed around me. I mean, wherever I grew up, I would have turned out to be the exquisite lady you see before you now, but... Anyway, when you become king today, I'll become queen. Now, that's the kind of social climbing I like. <laughs> Only the best. Only the best for my Deborah. <laughs> I'll be needing a lot of ladies in waiting, you know. You better start looking into that. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. This is why I married her. She's just... So <laughs> she, just she just knows what she wants. The girl boss that she is. Gaga. Boop, boop. Wow, they were just born five minutes ago, and they're already speaking more words than their dad. I still can't believe it. King Pancras's son. It really knocked my socks off that news. Well, well. So how's everybody doing? <laughs> I know it's a miracle. It needed to be celebrated. Y'all are invited to the baby shower, even though the babies were already had. You know, I was planning it, the baby shower, just... Didn't know how long I was in that cave, apparently. <laughs> Sleeping on the floor, same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. This is my beautiful wife. This is my beautiful castle. Letting the days go by, apparently months. Letting the water hold me down. This way, Manok. Whoa, hello. What a coronation, huh? Hail to the king, baby. Ah, there you are, Manok, old thing. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. As I'm sure many of you are already aware, the chap standing next to me is none other than my nephew, King Pangras's son, Manok. As such, I've decided to slip off the old crown and let Manok do the honors from now on. Let me just grab this... Oh, those spikes! Oh, they hurt so much! Watch out for those Menok. They're a doozy. So, Menok, if you just uh, kneel down here on my head. Menok, son of the late King Pancras of Gotha, I hereby swear by the almighty goddess that I relinquish my right to the throne and that from this day forward, you shall reign as King of Gotha. Oh, wow, I got a costume change. Look at that. So take a seat in the old number one spot then. The throne is yours. I thought thrones were number two spots. Well. Long live the king. I love the king. Long live the king. Woohoo, King Manak. King Manak forever. This is a fine day for Gotha. Look, they're playing the theme song for me. Oh my god! This must mean the game is over, right? I have my babies. I'm the king. What else could possibly... You know, it was a long game. But I'm happy to have played it. Thank you all for joining me on my Dragon Quest V duties. What could possibly go wrong from this day forward? Absolutely nothing. It's the Game of Thrones. Now we conquer the neighboring lands. Now, now, Kamen Rider, we gotta make sure to present ourselves as... A, a peaceful kingdom so that when we inevitably betray our neighboring 
states that we they're, they're caught off guard and they don't have an army to defend themselves. You gotta know military strategy, man. Actually, no. Common, I'm appointing you as my military strategist. You are playing Super Robot Wars. You probably know more than I do. Here, put on the put on the uh, official costume and everything. Survivor, thank you for the raid. How's it going? Oh, Pokemon Coliseum was pretty good. Did you have a fun time? Welcome! I'm the king! I'm the king, baby! Bow down! Bow down to your ruler! My first decree is king. I'm making everything legal. Everything. Well, King Manok, time to start your kingly duties and do the rounds, eh? Show the people what they've let themselves in for and all that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, look at my outfit, look at my cape. It's so nice and red, I think it's red. Salute the new king of Gotha. Yes, yes, give me a Manuka hoy in the chat. Salute to your king. You had a fun time with Coliseum? Nice, stop before Venus, wow. Hopefully nothing too uh, stressful. The townspeople are awaiting your appearance downstairs, your highness. My armies are going to be farmed to be super buff. I expect nothing less from the military strategist extraordinaire common rider OT. He's the hero we deserve. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a new king. King Manok. I don't remember this from the movie. Great cheers for King Manok. Gotha rules. King Manok rules. Congratulations, friend. Oh, no, no, it's no friend. King Manok, my majesty. Hi. I've never been so happy in all of my life! <laughs> Alright, calm down, Sancho. Remember me, don't make it, let, let it make you cry. The coronation celebrations continue long into the night. Everyone joins the fun with singing and dancing and merriment. But then... Um, why am I sleeping on the floor? Because Deborah said so, that's why. Thank you. You got it right. I don't know about this music. Even the priest got drunk. Officer, officer. What kind of man of the, of, the, of the Holy Cross is he? The Holy Cactus, sorry. Survivor grinding on stream a bit. Oh, that's how it is, you know. Sometimes you gotta do it. Sancho. Man, it's kind of funny, because when I was... So, what I've been doing this whole playthrough, if you don't know, uh, Dragon Quest Your Story. It's a movie that just recently got released that is based on this game. And I've kind of been watching along as I've played to see what the little differences are. And uh, I'm surprised that Sancho's role is kind of very different. Not really very different, it's just I haven't seen him until literally just this chapter. Whereas in the movie, he shows up a little bit earlier and gives the hero his little quest to go, you know? Sisters are doing it for her. Go, go. What the? Die, 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 die. Who keeps bringing these pots into my castle? Pots are illegal. I thought you said everything was legal. Yeah, but not pots. Die. I feel, I feel. Well, everyone's sleeping. Stand it up. I don't know. We left our, we left our castle all vulnerable to attack. Even the old king. Look at him. Look at him. This is no way for a king to behave. Also, when did my cape come back to the old one? Well, well, welcome on in if you're coming in on the raid. Something suspicious. We're checking it out. We just got crowned king of this land, and we're uh, doing a little detective work, huh? Another glass. A few, a few, a few other glasses, please. <laughs> Sleep soundly, my, 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 my. What, what do you call the members of your of your kingdom? 
Pot or pots? Pots are illegal, but pot is okay. This is California. <laughs> so, what I wonder is, those two people that tried to stop me from becoming king... I don't know if they were hired by anyone. They said there are some parties who were not keen on the idea of me becoming king. Loads of booze, all thanks to Chancellor Jeeves. Aw, oh, crap. Chancellor Jeeves was in charge of the booze? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, don't tell me this is like that one chapter of One Piece where they, like, party all night and all of a sudden the, the, the freaking, what are they called? The, the, the Mr. The Mr. Six and the, the Wednesday, Mr. Eight, and everybody. Oh, look, Sancho's behind the tree. A single pot in the household? How dare! I gotta check on my wife. Dreaming, loyal subjects, yes. Uh, who goes there? <laughs> Don't give it up, man, I'm dreaming. Don't give it up, Deborah. Dreaming. Don't give it up, Chicken Ken. Bounce, bounce, bum, bum, bum. Here's how the story goes. We find out in the middle of the night. Men, I'll wake up to find out. Everyone got drugged, and now we're gonna die. Oops. Baroque works. Thank you, Nintendo Ryu. I just watched that arc uh, over the weekend. Sprint 6864, who was here a little bit earlier, has been hosting it for the last few Sundays, and I have been enjoying watching through One Piece for my first time. Oh no! Where's Deborah? What do they do with her? Why am I smiling? I'm not smiling! I'm in fear! The single pot is a Trojan horse! Inside. 1,000 slimes ready to take over the kingdom. <gasps> Babies! Bubble. From Anok and Deborah's bedroom comes the sound of crying infants. From the bedroom? What? What? Where are they? Oh! Oh, your highness! I'm so sorry! Chick, Ken, you're safe! Where's Debbie? The, de the bed is free. Finally, I can sleep in it. No, I can't sleep soundly like this. Her Highness, Lady Deborah, she's been kidnapped by monsters! Oh! I did everything I could. I took the twins and hid them under the bed, but I couldn't save! I'm sorry, Your Highness, please forgive me! You did all you could. It's up to me now! Oh. Friend! I mean, no! Senor Majesty! This strange silence in the castle was making me worry, so I, I went to see what was the matter! Wait. Where, where is your wife, friend? Who is she? <gasps> it's the same like it happened 20 years ago. What? Wait, I'm 20 now? I thought I was 16. How time flies. No. Sancho is not gonna let the same thing happen. Wake up everyone who's sleeping in the castle. We're gonna save your wife, friend. We're gonna rescue Debra. Sancho! Sancho, my buddy! My friend, we're gonna go! We're having an assembly right now. Everyone to the war room! Oh my god! Debra! Who could have taken her? You mean to say that monsters stole into the castle while everyone was fast to keep? That's right! But her highness, Lady Debra, said something was wrong straight away. Oh. Of course she did. I took the children and hid, but... Still, it's strange that no one woke up. The monsters must have made quite a commotion. It's almost as if someone may put sleeping potion in the drinks everyone was having at the coronation celebrations. Oh, you think? Oh, you think, Chancellor Jeeves? Now, where the devil has Jeeves trundled off to at a time like this, eh? Have any of you seen him? Never trust a Chancellor! Heckin' traitor! Well, how's a fellow supposed to get on without his chancellor? Sancho gonna throw hands. I'm terribly sorry about a gold boy. I know how desperately worried you must be. 
I can't afford to waste any time. We must initiate a search for Her Majesty the Queen at once. Let's go, men! Oh, it's just like the beginning of Chrono Trigger. What's with Yuji Hori and writing kidnappings and whatnot? And evil chancellors? Of all the rotten luck, you'll just become King of Gotha and some ghastly business like this comes along and spoils the show! Well, this puts me in a bit of a rum predicament. I'm not entirely sure what I should do. I'll take it from here, buddy. This is my wife we're talking about. Friend, I know. I mean, Senor Majesty. Your wife, Senora Debra. I know she's gonna be found. Of this, I'm sure. Whoa, oh, hello. Oh, oh. Friend, you're thinking of going after your wife? No, oh, it's much dangerous. You must lead this task to the castle guards. You, you have the teeny tiny bebes to look after, no? They need their papa now. You, you must... Sancho? Hello? He's glowing with the energy of a thousand suns? What? The Zenithian sword? Okay? This is the Zenithian sword of your papa, Senor Pancras. Why are you giving me this sword, friend? You believe he's gonna protect the castle? Um, apparently I do. This is totally why I'm giving it to you. Y'all, what if Sancho was the legendary hero after all? He certainly got the spirit for it! Sancho, save the world! Here, have the shield and the helmet too! I promise that your Uncle Sancho, he keep it safe for you. Be careful, my majesty. Do not be doing something loco, eh? Too much bravado is dangerous! Don't worry. I got the right amount of loco, Sancho. They don't call me El Pollo Loco for nothing. <laughs> the legendary heroes were the Sanchos we met along the way. Don't you know, Sancho means hero. And Nakama means family. Oh, hello. Also means family. Family means no one gets left behind. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. I guess she's not in our party for now. All right, Preston, get out here. What am I gonna do? Okay, let me just really quickly talk to everybody. No, 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 no. Just like Pancras. How many more years do we have to get on without a king, I wonder? I'll be back. I promise. I hope I promise. Oh, this is next level. Yusha Sancho! The next hero of our times. Let me stock up and stuff, I guess. Oh, this is exciting. What? You don't sell medical herbs? Dang. What am I to do? Dom means family. Ha <laughs> ha! Who would have thought it? King Pancras' baby boy back to rule Gotha! You are the makings of a grand king, your highness! A grand king indeed! I hope I can be every bit the king Pancras was. It is the least I can do. Herb. But Kang, I'm talking to the new king! My name's Tuppence! I'm gonna be a soldier when I grow up! Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Don't worry, your majesty, Queen Deborah is alive. Just like Queen Mada is, I'm sure of it. And when they're both rescued, a new path will present itself to you. A new way forward! Yo, a new way forward video game? Shantae, heck yeah. I'ma save real quick. The hero was the common rider you met along the way. How's Chad doing, by the way? Y'all having a good night so far? I'm sorry that, uh, story time has presented itself to us, but heck, I'm into it. Heck, I'm into it. We gotta find out who kidnapped my wife. My wife. I can't make any more Borat references without her. I was ready, too. I was ready to be like, good morning, mommy. Sorry, mommy. Sorry, mommy. Not sorry, because she is a mommy. Of course, it's true. That's what Deborah is now. She really is the dummy mommy. You guys were ready to go, but where would... Where would I look? Where would I set off towards? Chancellor's nowhere to be seen. Guy's doji. Oh, you think, buddy. 
Oh, you think, pal. Oh, you think, friend. There are dozens of soldiers looking out for her. Have faith. If I were a kidnapper, where would I go? I think I'm as well equipped as I'm ever gonna be. They'll train Tup something into a great warrior. Maybe change his name to something more memorable, too. Alright, we got Preston. We got Curtis. We got Mohi Cat. Who else could we possibly need? I guess we'll explore. This is weird. This is weird. I got like no lead or anything. Back to the scene of the crime. I, I guess. Maybe there's a clue at the bed? Because if anything, Dragon Quest is good at giving you hints. Oh, you're right! I haven't checked Jesus' room! They're probably gonna let me in now. I mean, I am the king. Detective work! Good thinking. The dodgy lad. Maybe he's got his entire plans laid out. Now, where's that room? I've been wanting to go check that place out. Let me in, soldier. Ah, your royal highness. Yes, sir. This is the chancellor's chamber. Now, let's see if this is a chamber of secrets. No books of interest, but pull one out and a secret passage makes itself apparent. I bet, I bet. What the? A pair of Teleria. I'm fixing to wear ya. Is it just me or my faster now? What is that? I'm thinking. Strange shoes have wings. Just call me Hermes. It looked like it might be sort of they might be some sort of useful tool. Uh-huh. I played Dragon Quest 4. I've got a hunch that these winged slippers may bring me a little closer to God, if you know what I mean. Alright. Minok slips the Teleria onto his feet, and... Yo? Hello? Where are we? I found one of those ivory tusk tusks lying here dead not long too long ago. It had such a peaceful look on its face. I suppose even the monsters are embraced into the arms of the goddess in their final moments. Oh, don't, me th don't make me think about the monsters dying. Now I can do the Shadow Temple. I got them hover boots. Woo, 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 woo. Heck yeah. Y'all just ever put the wing boots, the hover boots on? Mysterious Inca. And just lead them on through the entirety of Ocarina of Time. Even though they make you slip around like a cat on ice. It's just so it's just so fun. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Well, we're healed up, I guess. I don't know where you come from or where you go, Cat and I, Joe, but I'd advise you to steer well clear of the mountains in the north. Go to the mountains in the north, got it. Apparently there's a tower there full of terrifying monsters. It was a while ago now, but I saw a group of monsters heading off towards the mountains in the north. I might be imagining it, but I could have sworn there was a human with them too. Oh no, no, yeah, I, I know her silhouette is a little, a little wild, but that was my wife. My wife. Common remembers the time you tried to light all the torches with bread and co-op multi-oot. See if you can go on without being an adult Link. You tried Din's Fire or something like that. Sequence breaking. I mentioned this earlier, but apparently they fully decompiled Ocarina of Time's code. So... Hopefully soon somebody's gonna figure out something nice to do with that. Maybe make a little Maybe make a little oh, there's a tower a Little PC port of some sort I wish I had party members with personality Everywhere I go I need party chat I'll get his Preston saying Tom Thumper I don't know where that brother of mine's got to 
I end up coming a crop well on me alone some at this right. <laughs> you almost did something devious. A Deku stick worked. Running around with sticks on fire. <laughs> like you're in the gosh dang Olympics. Alright, I'm waiting for me brother to turn up. We had rumors about some grand treasure being hidden in this place, see? So we decided to come and have a gander. So did you find it? What's good for the goose is good for the gander, but in this case, I don't think there are any foul to be heard of. Except for maybe some foul play. Whoa, hello. Did I save? I think I did. What are you? Hellion. That seems pretty hellish. Um, I think my party is strong. Strong enough. All right, let's try it. Uh, we'll do a little buff. I know I had a creature with cup buff on it. Why didn't I put them in my party? All right, Curitus, keep them alive. They are the most important. Show me your war face, actually. Put you to sleep. Abilities. Miss Frizzle. Uh, also buff on Preston. Hell yeah. Foul play, you dare. <laughs> it's my go to. Sorry, I'm a dad now. That means I gotta do dad jokes by default. Hi, I'm a dad. I'm dead. Well, do do, bom, bom, bom. I wish I had somebody with oomph. I think Deborah learns oomph. You know, she's kind of not here right now, though. Do 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 do. Ow! It's a long lost Eevee lotion. Hellion. How do you evolve this thing? Given Eevee a Hellstone? Harvested directly from the underworld? Sounds about right. Whoa! Hey, you get two turns? Oh. That was like nothing. I was about to say... Dragon Quest, when the enemies get two turns, things get real. They'll just outspeed you, out damage you. You don't have oomph, but you do have moomph. I'll take it. I'll take a yellow Pikachu, feed you that beef, get some protein. Hello? Sorry if I'm interrupting something. Ah, that's an unexpected! I specifically went for the pot instead of the freaking chest. Look, I dare you. I dare you. Cast the whack on me. I got zing. Baby. The unexpected isn't affected. There's still no e normal type Eevee evolution. Oh yeah! Just levels up by uh, sadness. There's Pokemon that level up by happiness, right? All right, I'm gonna peep this thing. It's blue. It was just the snatcher from Hat in Time. Fool! Let's make a deal, shall we? You don't break my pot, and I'll let you live with one caveat. You leave me alone. It was all nice and cozy in here. The last time I dealt with some dang rotten kid, she manipulated my contract and forced me to be her friend forever. And you know contractual obligations. I have to go play tennis with her on Tuesday. I'm not even good at tennis. I don't have feet. Blue. I actually don't know why I bother peeping. Because I check the treasure chest even if it's a mimic anyway. Oh good, another little Gerda mantle. Preston, cool. He stole it before I could do anything. We're selling that, Preston. You know you're already wearing one. 
I'm watching like a hawk because it seems some suspicious characters have infiltrated our tower. What? You're the ones? You'll pay for this. Rest in peace, unexpected. Rest in pieces. I am not gluing those back together. <laughs> no way. Do 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 do. Ba 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 ba. Hawkman. What if I can recruit these guys? That'd be funny. Da 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 da. They don't look so tough. Ow. Ow. They don't whoosh. That's not even a good spell. I should know. I have it. 33. Very nice. Go to sleep. Go to die. Thank you. So I was saying I've been kind of watching along with Dragon Quest Your Story that you know just experience oh god things as they are in both media. It's interesting. The part where your wife gets kidnapped is sort of well they kind of cut out the part where you become king in the story, like they don't even mention that Pancras is actually a king. I guess cutting that out kind of lets you skip a whole lot of gotha ceremony and pomp and circumstance, I guess. Not too bad. Doo -doo. I would have loved to see the coronation ceremony and the betrayal, though. Like, they got the Dragon Quest Adventures of Dai. I would have loved to see if they, uh make some sort of series animated in that 3D style that your story is in. Just play the entire game. Stop attacking me! What did I ever do? Do, 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 do. Try another Zizwiz. Hill. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. I don't think I'm fast enough to heal myself. Uh oh. I took too long. I thought I was good for another turn. Alright. If possible, I would like to full heal myself before any enemies attack me. Thank you. Oh no. These things are faster than me. I don't know what else I can do. What attack? Anybody else need to heal? Oh, okay, good. I'll take that. We'll take defeating the Hellion. Preston looking at that lion like, I've got my eyes on you! And let me finish you off! Did I go to- did I do a good job, sire? No, Preston. You did the best job. Thank you. Thank you, your highness. <laughs> the Preston story arc is not one that we ever thought we needed. But in times... of great peril. Oh, okay. Those who stand up are commended. You need a 48 episode anime to recreate this story. And I will watch every single one. Hell, I'm watching through One Piece. You know how many episodes that thing has now? A thousand. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. Oi. Hey. 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 Stop it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You know, I bet I have to drop down from a higher floor. You no, know, these aren't really a danger to me at all. 
All right, Mimic, show yourself. No, it's a Kamikaze Bracer. Preston, you know what, Preston, you can keep that. I will graciously let you have it. Hello? I'm willing to bet the stairs on the left are the ones I need to get to. They're harder to find, they're harder to access. That must mean they don't want me to get through to them. What is this fire temple nonsense? Hey, this isn't as bad as the fire temple, honestly. <laughs> All right, both stairs, actually. No. Does that lead to a treasure room? No, I'd have to come from above. What is this? What is this navigation? What is this dungeon design? Oh no, bosses from before are now regular enemies? All right, well, I'm not gonna waste too much MP on them. Curtis has some valuable MP that I shall not waste. If there's a boss at the end of this... Oh, never mind. Hippobloctimus. Hippobloctimus Prime. Now, I see a place to drop down back there. Oh, this is one heck of a dungeon. I'm not gonna jump out the tower. That's probably gonna send me right to the entrance again. I'm not dealing with these things. No, 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 don't curse me, don't curse me. Stop it! Hey, not pressing again! Curses! Oh, I should have just killed them. Please, by all means. Me too! AmericaOnlineAble.com, welcome to the curse stream. No, really, I'm cursed. Oh, just Preston. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. What is this? How's it going? A lot of stuff's been happening lately. Let me get you up to speed. Uh, my wife gave birth to twins because apparently I was in a dungeon for nine months. Uh, I became king and now sh my wife is kidnapped and, 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 and our friend Sancho has a legendary sword. Wow, now you're caught up. <laughs> We're going out to find... Who exactly was... Whack! Bold enough to anger the king. Oh, they're gonna get a heckin' fist in their mouth. I am the big shot. Ain't no one gonna stop me. Ain't no one gonna take Manok's wife away from him and get away with it. Oh, no, no. They've unlocked... They've unleashed the wrath of a thousand chickens. Oh, wait a minute. I want to go back down. That's probably that, 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 that probably the door I saw earlier. I want that treasure chest. I need it. Preston is losing HP. Hello? Mimic? No. A suit of zombie mail. Cool. Cursed armor. Preston, stop taking everything. That's not for you. You don't want to put that on, you're already cursed. Let's see if anybody can wear the spiked armor. Nobody. Nobody else but you. We're just our luck. The friends forever. Nobody else but you. I'm gonna give the magic water to Curtis, because he needs it. Speaking of Bethesda games, I don't know why so many people around me are playing Bethesda games, but I'm all for it. America Online at AWOL.com has been playing through Skyrim. Of course, of course. I warned her, but some things are just destined to be. You want some of this Elon Musk? No, you don't. Putting it in the bag. America Online, are you playing with any mods? I didn't- I forgot to ask. Also, I'm gonna get the Zizwiz pillow to... Uh... Curtis. No, uh... Preston, actually. Just to give him something to do. Because I think Mohicat's gonna be more predisposed to actually attacking. 
seasonal oppression means Todd time. And make yourself even more sad? Oh, that's how it'd be, I guess. Oh, freaking Todd Howard. What have you done to us? Seed of strength. I kind of want to get that the Mohi Cat. But I'm an RPG gamer, and I save all of my equipment just in case I need it later. America Online added some nightmare mods. What do you mean nightmare mods? Is this something I should be afraid of? I was only lurking, unfortunately, so I wasn't able to watch too closely what may or may not have been different. Oh, I'm scared now. Get this zombie male away from Preston. That's dangerous. Look at it. Well, I guess it doesn't say, but it's cursed! Put it on, you can't take it off, and it destroys your stats somehow. I don't know. I never actually tried. Let's do a little heals. Every time you ask, how did that happen, you just hear it in, how did that happen? Yo ho ho, we took a bite of gum gum. Yo ho ho, everyone got really drunk. Yeah, the Chancellor. Oh, funny that. Evil Chancellor in a video game. The Chancellor spiked everybody's drinks to make us pass out. Nah, actually, he just brought out the good stuff. The good wine. Knocked us out all night. Uh, you don't think you found the main one? The main, uh, Nightmare Mod? Oh, rocks. I've had enough of pushing rocks. Ow! I think I know what I'm supposed to be doing with the rocks now. Ow. Ah! Wait, how does this work? Stop. Oh my god! That did a lot more than I thought. Let me just, uh... We're taking an emergency exit. Just, just a little bit. Here, let me put on those magic slippers. Tap three times. There's no place like my kidnapper's hideout. Woo! Todd poured his Skyrim to our cozy times. How dare. Now who's laughing? Not me. Respectful for my family-friendly stream. I mean, like, I say that, but it is 18+. plus. It's more like I am just how I am. I just don't like to swear that much, but if I have to do a hack and hack, then let it let it be known it's necessary. I just think that if I save the heck words for uh, when they are most impactful on stream, then you know that it's a serious situation. You know? You try. <laughs> okay, first of all. Where is... Was Garfield already part of Skyrim? You tried to look for a mod to give Garfield booba, and it blew up in your face. The booba blew up in your face? Excuse me? Excuse me, ma'am, we are in a church. It's okay, it's the Church of the Holy Cactus, which has different rules. Oh my goodness, oh my neck. We were talking on America Online stream that if she ever became a VTuber, she would just be... She would just be Goth Garfield, which is a little bit of an art trend that's been going around, going along. Where people turn Garfield into Big Booba Goth Girlfriend. Don't ask, that's just how it is. <laughs> that's how it is. <laughs> which I am actually all for though. America Online, it fits your brand perfectly. Y'all, if anybody's got the America Online AWOL.com emote, Garfield Senshi. Read the emote. It says Garfield. Doesn't say Garfield. Do I really have to resurrect Preston and uncurse him? You know what, Preston? You're using up all your goodwill. Freaking 600 gold. Sure, you did a good job in the tower, but this is a bit much, man. There's only so much favor you can win from me. Also, I guess I'll save. We 
you didn't understand this reference. Well, now you do. Nice Garfield emote. It's Bowsette all over again. Ah, you know, the internet be like that sometimes. Let's go. Me, I'm a married man. I got my wife that I'm trying to save from this tower. I don't have time to to dabble in the internet phenomenons. Does, does man not even know what the internet is? We live in a past time. There's no internet. There's only there's only becoming a royal guard. That's what you do for fun. Just like Papyrus. Oop. All right, round two. Let's get him. See, look, it's the Church of the Holy Cactus. We worship the goddess Prickly Pear. Yup. All right, let's try another route. I do wonder, all these other teleporters, where can they go? All right, I've been there. Oh, these just lead to the same place. What was the point of this? You got a melty Sonic popsicle. What is that? You whoa! American Online got the s animated emotes. I was gonna say the sweaty emotes. <laughs> I mean, it is a sweaty emote. Melty Sonic the Hedgehog popsicle. You know, I used to. Well, I still subscribe to a streamer that has had a melty Sonic popsicle emote, but he uh, changed it a long time ago. I liked it though. Because it was always like, gotta melt fast! Yeah! And I remember back when I would use that emo all the time in Bradfield's stream. He used to have a voice command, not a, well, a sound command. Whenever somebody posts the emote, it goes Shadow's line, I'm the coolest! The coolest because he's made out of ice cream. <laughs> Sweaty! Very nice, Abel. I'm gonna be using that a lot, if you don't mind. A question, though. Did you, um... Did you... Is, is that the first animated emote you made? Any more in the works? Alright, how many mimics am I gonna fight? Spoiler, all of them. Go for it. Heck yeah. It was funny. Hey, now Brad, you can put it back. Put the sound command back. Just trigger it on America, uh, uh the, the sweaty. America 84. Actually, a mimic, who would have guessed? It's actually worth it to fight all of these because they always have a mini metal. And it makes me a little bit upset. Because what's the point of having a peep skill that lets you avoid these? There is no point, I'm gonna fight them anyway. What sucks is that they have thwack! They have thwack! 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 And they always freaking cast it every time. Look, I'm, I'm done with trying to put it to sleep or disable it or anything. Just kill it. Just kill it fast. Oh good, only Frizzle. I can deal with Frizzle. Take me on a school trip on the magic school bus. Fine. Just don't thwack. Don't you dare. Oh good, asleep. Yes, yes. Toilet mimics. See, that's what makes me glad we don't live in a modern day RPG world. Because toilet mimics would absolutely be a thing. You're ready to go. You need to go to the nearest gas station because you can't do anything about it anymore. That's why going to gas station toilets is so dangerous. You just learned you had animated three minutes ago. Same for me this week. I only got them this week because I've been checking every week. Every Monday, and I only got them last Monday. Nobody told me. Twitch didn't give me any notification. It just it just happened to be. Um, how many mini medals do I have? Thirty nine. We're getting pretty close to be a, uh, to being able to buy some more 
Some good stuff from the mini middle king. Nice shortcut. Baby's first emote. I love it. It is a perfect first emote. See, it can be used as a Monka S emote, but it can also be used as a Sonic emote. But it can also be used as, uh, it's hot. It's getting hot in here. Give me some ice cream. Comments got a message saying I was about to get them weeks ago. Yeah, I think that's the same message they gave to, like, everybody. Just to make us not feel bad that we're getting left out. The hooligans. I mean, the hooligans. The previous version of the enemy were called the hooligans. I think these are recruitable. I'm gonna try it. If you're just coming on in, this is Dragon Quest V. The, one of the first RPGs to ever have monster catching. That's right. It came out before Pokemon on the Super Famicom, if you can believe it. But instead of, you know, throwing Pokeballs or anything like that, you kind of just have to hope that the enemies join you after you kill them. Whatever enemy dies last has a chance of joining you. A dancer's costume? Oh, you know, we're gonna give that to Deborah when we find her. She'll be really happy. Because, uh, she hasn't been able to wear that many non-maternity clothes as of the last however many time I was in that cave. Like, real talk, I must have been in that cave for such a long time because we didn't know she was pregnant until we got to the castle. Like, she wasn't even showing, and then all of a sudden, oh, hello, your, your wife's about to give birth. <laughs> to be fair, I also, uh, in the course of dilly-dallying in the game, visited uh, her old hometown to go check up on... Go check up on my father-in-law. I'm a little sad the game didn't let me go tell him that he was about to be a grandpa. But maybe now we can. All right, here's that dreaded room once again. Only the hooligans are recruitable? Oh, that sucks. Oh, you know what? I think the rock is just to let you know that the fire is a thing. And you just have to dodge the other ones. I was trying this whole thing to see if I could push the rock along with me. No, I was just being dumb. <laughs> Lemonade Cafe wants to make some dumb emotes. Do it, Haru. I believe in you. There's a lot of rocks. Garg! The rock was actually a rock bomb. What? But it wasn't a rock. It was a rock bomb! That song kind of really sounds like the battle song, doesn't it? But down, 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 da 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 da. But down, 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 da 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 da. We went into the tower. Dun da 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 da. Everyone had matching Lagerta mantles. We looked under a rock, but it wasn't a rock. It was a rock bomb! Oh, I see how this works. Oh no! Go them! This is where they got Geodude from. The more you play these classic games, the more you realize how much of the JRPGs you've played in your childhood actually took from Dragon Quest. Not ripping off or anything, just. How many JRPG tropes were actually from this series? All of them. All of them. Oh no! I missed. I think I just need to push two rocks over here. That's all I need. Eh, 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 eh. You know, three. Three, four. 
Dude, Geo Dude. You mean Iwate. The uh, mascot of the Iwate Prefecture in Japan. Of course. The Geo Dude that has transparent PNG legs. The Geodude I'm, that I have in Pokemon Shiny Pro right now, I named Iwate. Specifically for that. Funny every time Poke fans call new Monster Catcher games a ripoff. They don't know about my Dragon Quest. They don't know the classics. Alright, Mimic, do your worst. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! This Mimic didn't want to give up a fight. They thought, oh, there comes the Mimic Hunter again. Mimics are Irish, apparently. I let them have my mini medal without a fight. I know he'll just destroy me. Your Geodude is named Pika Blue. I do have several traditions in Pokemon games that certain Pokemon always get certain nicknames. I always call Meryl's Pika Blues just because that's. Back in the day before Pokemon Gen 2 came out, that was the name that everyone gave the leaked Pokemon Meryl before it had a real name. Or at least before it had a translated name. It's Pika Blue! None of this Meryl stuff. Is it worth blocking all of these dragon heads? I feel like it might be less effort to just take the damage and heal it. Call your septile e uh, evergreen. Aha! Aw, oh, Shiza, that's a lot of dragons on this quest. I'm gonna go find more rocks. <laughs> Yo-Kai Watch getting called a Pokemon ripoff. It is so sad. Playground rumors were the best. You don't get that nowadays because kids grow up with access to the internet and games come out like, oh, god damn it, the Hellion is back and it's a regular enemy. Actually, you know what? I should just focus on the other enemies because I know the Hellion's gonna stick around. I should kill them first. Hey. Oh, this is scary. You... These guys have medicinal herbs? Why? They're useless. Meryl. <laughs> Looking on the back of the CD case for them's... Codec phone numbers. Named Geodude after Dwayne Johnson. Of course, of course! If I get an Onyx of some sort, then I will... Gladly. Uh... I don't... Ah, he doesn't have the Zizwiz pillow anymore. Maybe I can Terror Crow the Hellion. Unsurprised. That's not good. That's not good. Wake up, Preston. Okay, good. Okay, we have a chance. Uh... Full heal Preston, and I think Manok can survive another hit or two. Preston can try his Zizwa's pillow. Oh hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! We're on the road again! Just can't wait to get back on the road again! The Hellion is defeated with the help of my friends. I only know this song because of Shrek. On the road again. Gotta make my slime use heal all again. I watched a YouTube video about the pop culture references in Shrek. And basically, uh, oh crap. 
yeah, no, you 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 start to realize that Shrek really is 20 years old as of this year. The pop culture references of the early 2000s. Literally the year 2000. Kabuff! Curtis, you beautiful, beautiful slime! No, no, I'm not dealing with this today. I got a wife to find. Cool, they healed. They didn't even get damaged. Stop it. Just stop it. Uh, maybe it was worth it trying to kill them instead. I mentioned this before, but the way that running works in Dragon Quest is the l more times you do it consecutively, the higher chance you have of running away. So if you've already committed to trying to run, and the first two times didn't work, you might as well go for a third. Because it's almost guaranteed. Oh, I have to push these rocks all the way. I pushed them down the wrong hole. That was a bad idea. Oh no. You know what? These aren't worth it. Man, this sure makes Manok nostalgic for the time he was constructing a temple for false gods. Ah, jeez. If I had a party chat right now, it would say something like, Jeez, just like the good old days, eh, Manok? Harry, shut up. So that whip I currently have on Preston, I uh, found out that Harry can actually equip it. Oh, you know what? I think I only need to block the left side. Because then I can stay far away enough from the right dragons that I don't have to deal with them. It doesn't matter what you think, said so, quoth the Dwayne Johnson Geo dude. It doesn't Geo what you dude. They're really trying. Ow! Stop it! Oh! Oh! I just realized! That dragon head is missing! We're good! Please tell me this is the last tower! The last floor. Uh, come on, I've had enough of this. Wait a minute, I got some nice hair. Thank you for letting me join the hair club for men. Of course, the club where you dress up as the Easter Bunny and leave eggs all around for your children to find. You would say, well done, but I think I'm a little extra crispy now. Oop. Well done. There was this chart I saw. That had like different ways of cooking steak. But like, once it passed well done, it just showed a picture of like a burnt charcoal and said congratulations. <laughs> uh, I just found it. Oh, it's, it's pretty good. There's some other stuff I forgot about it, too. Check it out. You got your, your rare, medium rare, well done, medium well, well done, and congratulations. But then you go back, it goes medium rare, rare, epic, legendary. Oh, where's the mythic rares? Wow. Can I have my, my steak done? Congratulations, please. I, I feel like tasting that charcoal, the, the charcoal smoky flavor. Well done. 
Congratulations, you won. PK Fire! I will never forget those bit crushed. Yo, there's a camera up there. Those bit crushed recordings from those old banner ads where you have to like shoot the monkey and it's like, Congratulations, you won! Click here to claim your free iPad. Minak looks at the wall. Connecting passageway, switch one. So that drops the drawbridge. Oh, but I need to hit switch two before I can get there. I'm guessing that's what this portal is for then. All right, Preston, we're on our way. Aw, oh, jeez. Unexpected. I expected the unexpected, but alas, it was not. Ketabox. Uh-oh! SpaghettiOs. Well done. Die. Die. I like that Preston is currently wearing a top hat, like he's a magician. You can just do Minoka Eye's top hat. This mimic is just like me, all hopped up on caffeine. Doesn't want to go to sleep. I went to sleep once. Come on, come on! No! Woo! So glad this thing decided to waste its FP, its MP on Frizz. I said FP like it was Paper Mario or something. I want to heal Curtis, but he's got a nice amount of HP right now. So I'll keep him like he is. All you got is this. Nice glasses, Preston. You sure they don't hurt pressing up against your eyes like that? Oh, I forgot to actually hit the switch, though. I got everything else in the room. Aya! Yeah. 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 Preston lost in thought. Minoka eyes TK. Mmm, yeah, see? If I just continue to be a good party member, then Minok will love me. Yeah. You keep dreaming, Preston. Don't give it up. Don't give it up, Preston. Dreaming. Don't give, give it up, give it up. Yayo, yeah, yo, yayo. Yeah, yo. Oh, hi, Chancellor. Don't tell me this is his dead body. I appear to have committed something of a blunder. It would seem that going into cahoots with the monsters was perhaps not the wisest of decisions. Oh, dear. Gotha will be in a sorry state now. Yeah, you think? I do hope you will be able to find it in yourself to forgive me, your majesty. Oh. I'll think about it. Pig? You've done well to come this far, but you won't get any further with me in your way. There's snot you can do about it! <laughs> Orc Pawn. Well, if you ask me, I don't want to look upon you. I don't have oomph. I need oomph. Focus strength. Abilities. Frizzle. Abilities. Kaboof! Correct! Ready for a boss fight. Doesn't even have enough MP. You know what? It's time. Alright, Curtis. I don't... Oh, God. I don't let just anybody have MP. Cure water, but... 
this is tough times. The tough times call for some tough measures. Oh my god, 116 damage. Mohi Cat, you've been eating your spinach. Can you have some MP, good sir? Get in line, Soul Sapphire. There's only so much to go around. I'm sorry. We didn't ration enough. We drank it all during the Gotha cor coronation celebration. Sad to say. But you're first in line. Don't worry, I got you down on the waiting list. Ah, there you go, Brad, sharing some of his potion. What a nice friend. Bradfield, he's pretty good. One of the best. As you know. Do I have any packs a punch? If anything, I put it in the bag. Oops. You're pretty good! You're pretty good! I almost feel like it's better to just defend. Or <laughs> Pond falls into an even deeper sleep. That's right, taste my dream blade. Tastes like sweet mint cookies, doesn't it? Like a midsummer night's dream. Tastes like hot chocolate. All warm and cozy underneath the blanket. Very nice. Ganon got reduced to an orc pun. You gotta take whatever job you can get in this economy. No! How could Link be defeated like this? Go! Sir, you did not even have a name. You might as well have been a mid-boss. Not any big shot like me. Oh ho. Oh. Alright. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm giving the prayer ring to Curtis. I'm not going to use it right now, but I think within the next fight. Magic water as well. I can actually just give that to Mohi Cat, and Mohi Cat can feed it to Curtis when the time comes. I wonder if anybody can wear the dancer costume. Preston, you want to put it on? Do a little dance for us, huh? No? Okay. Okay, I think we're good for now. And who's this fine fella? He's look he's got like a little tuft of hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now there's a tasty looking worm! That female creature who was here before looked nice and juicy too. Thank you? But Corn claimed that before I even had one peck! I'll just have to make up for it by making a meal out of you! <laughs> peck! Chimera Pawn. Alright, you got some red hair. But I've got Radder. Radder field. Doot, 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 doot. Can I have some of your magic, sir? Oh, oh! It absorbs the MP of incoming spell. Oh? I could heal Curtis's MP for free? Oh, mind if I do. Let's see if I can send him to sleep. Kapoof! Too many bosses than a big boss. Ha, <laughs> big boss. I bet. That's what we're gonna do tonight. Just in time, too. Yeah, mid heal. Attack! Frizzle! Curtis, just sit tight. Kurakuru! Absorb it, absorb it! Yes! I like that he's absorbing MP, but I didn't realize he'd also still get hit. That's alright, that's okay. Uh, Just keep our HP topped off. Mid heal. Mid heal also. 
probably don't actually need it right now. Attack, attack, abilities, frizzle. Mid heal. We're, we're mostly good. Thing just needs to stop attacking like twice per turn. I like this absorb MP. I like it a lot. I'm needing it. I'm needing it very desperately right now. How much does it take to fry this chicken? You'd think I'd be an expert at it. Fierce fire! Preston! No! Oh, that's not good. I think, though, if I zing, I finally have a revive spell. Ah, cure this. Just heal yourself. Why does it gotta be so fast, though? Stop! Uh-oh. Crap! At least Preston's back to life. Wait, Curtis was alive? Oh, he had just a sliver of health. Curtis, you beautiful, beautiful goop. I would pat you on the head if I could. Aha! This isn't transparent. Good enough. Yo, this gift is named Transparent. It lied to me. Good slime. Best slime. Pet the chicken. Alright, okay. We're still in a bind, however. If I don't use my MP to heal myself right now, I don't think I'm gonna get the chance. Okay, okay. We're going to full heal, because he's definitely going to take damage by then. Preston. Mohicat attacks. Defend. Defend. I think we're going to have to. Oh, you heal! Fine, okay. That's fine. Did my buff run out already? I feel like it should have by now. Sword magic. Yeah. Sure, this is going to be hurting by the end of this. Attack. Full heal on main character. Wait, did I cast absorb magic instead of heal? Uh oh. From top screen, thank you. It's a good thing that both screens are visible all the time. Or else you'd have nothing to see. Slime time! Alright, alright. We were spared for one more turn, but... For how long? I didn't think this thing was going to be so much of a problem. Turns out I was wrong. Let's go buff again. At the very least, I know it stacks. Hey. Stop! Gosh dang it! Thank you for the assistance. Will this be enough to finish the fight? I hope so. Ooh. Please. Not if it keeps mid healing. Come on, man. Maybe I should try to drain its MP instead. So it can stop casting spells at me, please. Oh! Whew. I'll take it. Thank you for the backup lemonade cafe. It was just what we needed. Just what I needed. Yeah, 
You've killed one bird with... I don't know how many stones! McCann will make you pay for this. Just you wait and see. <laughs> His fatal mistake. He wasn't aware that I knew every weakness that a chicken could have. If I had a... If I had access to my King Slime, I could zing with him, but I gotta zing with my Bazinga main character instead. Thank you, goodbye. Oh, look at how much MP. I forgot the- oh, I forgot to stock up on medical herbs. How many do I have? I don't think- oh, I've got three. Better than nothing. Rest in peace, slime. It's okay, we just kinda scooped all of the bits back together and he's as good as new. Handy, right? Right, Elf and Elixir brings MP back to max. I feel like... Now's the time to use these magic elixirs. I, I can get ma magic waters, like, I can get more. I can. From the casino, actually, so I basically have an infinite supply. Gives from the Curtis, gives from the Manok. And we'll take the... Packs of Punch. We'll give that to Mohi Cat. And, uh, just, just in case, an Elfin Elixir goes to Manok as well. Just to have. And the Yggdrasil leaves. We'll need those. We absolutely will. Increase my wisdom, why not? It would have helped me make some more smarter decisions. Welcome back! Welcome back to the world of the living, Curtis. I'm back. Hi, back. I'm dead. Sure, why not? Seeds of Agility as well. You fast boy. I can vibrate at infinite speeds. My molecules phasing through the ground, just like clock stoppers. Y'all remember clock stoppers? Of course not. Nobody remembers clock stoppers. Deborah, we're here! What took you so long? You know, I need lots of death, despair. Hoo hoo. I unhad my wife. You, you mean old Bojack Horseman? Debra, let's we'll go quietly. He won't notice. You're gone. I knew you'd come and rescue me sooner or later, Manok. But you shouldn't have. You played right into their hands. That's why they used the Chancellor and kidnapped me. It was to lure you here. The ringleader is trying to kill you and then become king in your place. How dare he? Oi! Hey! Enough horsing around! King of country must think for most of his peoples, not of his own selfish wishings. And yet you come here? For these alone you deserve to be put down. <laughs> now it is time for you to both saddle up for death. Calling the night. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be saying hasta la vista, baby. But you... Say good night. Oh, I know. Uh, oh, I'm already scared. What can I do? Nothing to set up other than do my things. Uh, packs a punch on Mohi Cat. Preston, do, do your thing. I'm trying to drain his. Oh, maybe I can fizzle him? Uh, Kabuff, please, Curtis, just survive. Hi, Dad, I'm coming. Welcome. Preston. Oh, crap! He had bounce! Well, at least I'm not gonna cast spells on him now. Crap, how long does Fizzle last? Oh, no. Well, fine. Preston has a decent weapon anyway. 
I guess. Uh, fine. Whatever. 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 Attack, abilities, uh, mid heal, Mohi Cat. One damage. One damage?! What is this guy?! No spells, no fighting. Can I do anything? Mohi Cat's attack is doubled! Just gonna survive. I bet this is a scripted scripted battle. Scripted loss. But except we're not gonna lose though. Just defend. Keep just keep calm. We're gonna get through this. To swoosh. Uh... Dun, 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 dun. Can I make him scared of me? Intimidate him a little bit? Do him a heckin' frighten? Trying anything we can at this point. I was thinking of using the Zenithian sword to take off any buffs he might have, but I don't have it. This is a problem. Chili breath. I don't see no chili cheese dogs. Unsurprised. Please. Please. Oh gosh. What, am I not just... Am I just not strong enough for this? Absorb the magic. Can't cast spells, he's fizzled. I guess I can still cast absorb magic? Huh. It uh oh. Presence prevented. Damn it, why would he even let me do that? Heck. This is bad. If Mohicat still does one damage after doubling his attack and then using uh, the deep breath, I think I'm actually not supposed to win this. And that makes me sad. What can I do? He's did the mage! I can't believe he fizzled himself. That's some bow. Eating organically grown butter lettuce? He's a butt. Did I heal Mohi Cat? I don't remember what I did. Full heal Mohi Cat. Got it. Uh, heal Preston, I guess. No damage. Miss. What am I? St ah. <laughs> I am indestructible. Nobody is able to hurt the great knight Khan. Die, Manok, die! Manok! Deborah joins the battle! You'll pay for this, Khan! A mysterious light surrounds Deborah's body? Whoa! What? What is this light? The light begins to break down Khan's barrier. Now, Manok, finish him off! Deborah, what did you do? Could you always. Shine bright lights? What did you do? Did you flash him or something? Wait a minute. I don't know you knew that HM. Well, thank you, Deborah. I'm, I'm glad you woke up after all that, but I feel like I could have done that sooner. Attack him. Preston is still fizzled. That's really bad. Did... No, okay. Can he not fizzle, please? What is Staff of Anti-Magic? I'm gonna try it. Good heal. Fizzle wears off! Cool! Perfect! 
104. Not so strong now, are you, punk? Oof. Ow, maybe he's a little strong. All right, now I know. Now I know. All I have to do, believe in myself. A little bit of a mid heal, Preston. Attack, Preston. Frizzle. Curtis. Kabuff. I almost gave into the scripted laugh. I almost gave into despair. Hoo hoo hoo. Will you stop picking on Preston? Peter Piper? Don't pick a pack with me. Do, 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 How much damage does Preston's regular attack do, I wonder? Forty-one. Okay, Frizzle's still better. Stop A. It's that slow burn from the group magic attacks that really gets me. Let's put some more of that uh, absorb magic on Curtis. You need that. When did I gain so much MP? Frizzle! Who needs healing? We're all decent. Mohikak can use some. Getting dangerously close. Here we go. Here's what I'll do. Absorb magic on my... I don't need that MP. I'm on Preston. Preston needs MP. Keep going. Our middle two are damage dealers. Curtis and Menok play in support. Full heal and Menok, and we should be decent. Believe! Fight on! Never give up! Akira Mendayo! Dame, 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 dame! Akira Mendayo! Curtis needs a little more MP, but we're good for this turn. We're we're good. Just just attack. Attack. Frizz. Defend. I feel like I feel like we're close. This is it. He doesn't want to attack Curtis because he just absorbs his MP. Oh, this is a heckin' bad. Curtis is kind of dead weight right now. All right, okay, you know what? Fine, he gets a... Uh... I, I still feel like we're close to the end, though. You have magic water? Okay, put that on Curtis. Just, 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 just for good, good measure. Don't lose hope now. Taking this horse out to pasture. That's that's a cow. I ruined my one-liner. Kidnapping my wife? I say nay. This? This is not possible. The, the, the night before. No, it cannot be. This woman. This woman, she is. Blood from legendary hero. Larger, larger. Go on, cry in your mommy. See if I care. Don't come back. I just told you not to come back. Ah, crap. Oh no. It's him. <laughs> so you are descendant of legendary hero. I uh descendant of the legendary hero? It is foretelling of the great Nimzo that descendant the legendary hero will be of high status. Thus it has been policy that we snatch away all little children of importance. 
but it appears the child is not yet born. He will be born in future from your blood. I... Yeah, go. Oh, oh, gosh dang. Deborah, it's such a shame we didn't have any children yet. Well... I guess there's no hero to bother you, Larger. You know what? We'll cut you a deal. We promise never to have any babies, and you, 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 you'll leave us alone. Yeah. Yeah, I promise from this day forward, we will not have any babies from this day forward. This was destiny! But this destiny I cannot permission for happening! Wait, the deal's still on the table! What? Die! Manok and Deborah are turned to stone. <laughs> it is no amusement simply for to kill you! It is better fun to force that you slowly watch as the world comes to its end! <laughs> Uh oh Break out of it. Manok. Manok. It's impossible to move. Do it for Deborah. Please. <laughs> no. Who are you two? Preston, Preston, save us! You didn't get turned to stone! You weren't involved! You just pretended to be a lowly Preston digitator! <laughs> oh. Oh, hi, when did we turn around? It is a right wild goose chase, eh? So much for there being some decent treasure here. Hey, look at them statues! They look ever so lifelike! You know what, bruv? I reckon we can sell these pair for a fair old price. I reckon you're right. Nice one, Huckster. The lady wants a bit of a looker and all, eh? I'll be having this one. You will do no such thing. <laughs> Come on, get moving. Wait for me, bruv. Well, I guess Manok is dead. Well, time to coronate these two babies as king. Both of them are king, together. We'll just stack them on top of each other, put them in a trench coat. They will be the new king of Gotha. It's been far too long since we'd have a proper king. This is the best we can do. What? Don't tell me you still haven't managed to track down King Manok, you useless oafs! Sorry, Your Majesty. We have soldiers out scouring the kingdom as we speak, but... Even my blasted chancellor's gone missing. This really is most inconvenient. We could be dead and you're just gonna call it inconvenient? King baby. What's a fellow supposed to do, eh? I'm sure it's Billy Bally do. Your Majesty, there's been a sighting of His Majesty King Manok at North Minister, a church far to the north. What? Someone's actually spotted Manok at last? You mean? Yes, sir! For the love of the goddess, I abdicated an hour ago! Dear goddess, you people are so incompetent! We haven't had a king for years, how do you think we expect to act? Right-ho! Well, send all the men north it is then. Turn the place upside down if necessary. Leave no stone unturned! Go, go, go! Ward, ward, ward. I just hope Manuk and Deborah are all right. What is the matter? Gay and cheek? We are okay? I really don't know. They never cried like this before. I hope it doesn't mean something's happened to King Manok or Queen Deborah. What rot! Keep such obscene gibberish to yourself. See, there's no need to worry. I know friend and Deborah, and they know we hurt. It's no need to cry, Ken. It's no need for your tears, Chick. Your mother and papa. They be home soon. They're there. It's okay. Or Uncle Sancho gonna sing you lullaby. Wait. 
Thanks for the slime time. It's a liquid metal. Hurry, get it. What are we being auctioned off? Now, ladies and gents, the moment you've all been waiting for. Today's star of the show. Bring it over then, Mosh. Yeah, bruv. <laughs> I'm, please, at least pay a good price for me. I'm worth at least 5,000 gold, please. Please. What do you reckon of that, folks? I bet you ain't never seen a statue so lifelike, eh? You don't get another chance to get your mitts on some of this kind of quality. So let's hear it then. How's about we start the whole bidding at 10,000 gold coins? Do I hit 10,000? Chad, Chad, you have to bid on me. Do the auction, please. The fate of the world is at stake. 12,000. Nice, that's 12,000 12, to start the ball rolling. Advances on 12, folks. 12,000. Oh, who's the big, who's the high roller? Who's the big shot? Now we talk gain 15,000. Any advances on 15,000, people? 15,000. Like it, 16 grand. Anyone reckon they can do better than that? Come on, folks. Dig your hands down into your pockets. This is a once in a lifetime chance to get your mitts on such a poker looking statue. They're saving their money for Tepro. <laughs> That's what's going on. Oh, I mentioned about it uh, being good luck. Yeah, you best make a bid now if that's what you're after. 20,000! They bid more on me than Deborah. The sheer audacity is gonna make her break out of it. If anything could break her out of that spell, it would be that. 20,000! Cool, blimey! Going! Going! Gone! 20,000 gold coins! Can I at least have it? Put it in my pocket? I make good storage. Nice doing business with you, mate. Just hand over your readies to that fancy looking geezer there. I guess I'm being sold to Fred Flintstone. That's 20 grand you've paid there, then, me old friend. The statue's yours. Okay, bye. Hello, hello. Hey, the last statue just talk. Oh, uh, yeah, it's one of them new models. You know, like, you pull the string on the back and it makes a funny sound like a chicken balking. <laughs> See? Thanks for bidding, folks. You win some, you lose some, eh? That's Uxter and I so done with the auction lock for one day, anyhow. Oh, they're keeping Deborah for themselves. Wait a minute! <laughs> Hey, bruv, what about that other statue? Ain't you selling that one at all? Nah, I got my own plans for that, beauty. <laughs> what do you mean? Talk to for now, then, folks. Till next time. Wait for me, bruv. I've always wanted one of my own life-size Barbie dolls. I can play dress up. <laughs> you! Don't you dare! Good day to you, Master. How jolly lovely to see you home. One of them newfangled amiibos. You scan it into Smash and it just becomes Zero Suit Samus. Mistress, Mistress, the Master's home! the hell got delivered by like a TV on Black Friday they don't even they didn't even shove up for the installation they just left me on the front yard the hell man be careful please if you're gonna wall mount at least make sure you drill directly into the studs oh look baby mrs. Porgy what the things from Star Wars welcome home my dear Look, little Georgie, father's home. Porgy and Georgie. Oh, oh. What is that statue you have there, my dear? It's quite impressive, don't you think? I thought it might make a yabba dabba do good luck charm to put in the garden to commemorate little Georgie's birth. All you ever think about is little Georgie. Where's my present, hmm? How dare you put our own child before me? Wow. 
sure glad I'm not married to her. Uh, um, oh dear. <laughs> Something of an oversight there, I'm afraid. Wait, he's Mr. Porgy. Oh, the baby's name is Georgie Porgy. <laughs> you must be exhausted, Master. Why don't you come inside and have a nice cup of tea? Georgie Porgy. <laughs> And his father is a member of the clergy. Something's not right about that guy. What, am I just a lawn gnome now? Oh, oh, crap. I'm seeing this kid grow up, aren't I? Hurry, my dear, come outside now. I'm a lawn ornament! Reduced to a gnome? I say, whatever is all the fuss about? Look, look at little Georgie. Go, go, caca. Oh, he's standing. Oh, he rotating sprites. Oh, look at him. <laughs> That's adorable, actually. Man, I wish I could see this. Unfortunately, I'm facing down. Well, I never. Little Georgie started walking already. Well done, my boy. Oh, my kids better be okay. Come on, Georgie. Keep it up. Go, go, caca. I go, go, caca. A goo goo ga ga. A goo goo ga ga. What a clever little boy he is. What's wrong, darling? You've got quiet all of a sudden. Oh, I'm only being silly, really. It's just one hears such terrifying rumors of late. I can only wish that little Georgie will be able to grow up in peace. Don't worry, my dear. We have that good luck statue you bought a year or so ago, after all. A year. Nothing bad can happen to us. Ha <laughs> ha Of course. I'm sure you're right. Meanwhile, Tup Something's gonna be a champion. Oh no, he turned into the generic little boy sprite. Do be careful, Georgie. If you frolic about too much, you're bound to fall and hurt yourself. Just knock me over and all of a sudden my head falls off. Whoopee! Woohoo! Goo goo. Ga ga. Goo goo ga! Oh no! Georgie! Georgie! Come to mommy! Hello! Who are you people? Georgie! <laughs> Is this the one? I don't know. Well, we could always use him as a slave if not. <laughs> True, the small humans listen to orders much more than the fully grown ones, though. Please, no! Don't take my boy! Take the statue instead! Thanks, lady. Ah! <laughs> Miss Porgy, are you okay? I say, whatever was all that hoopla about? Hoopla! It's Georgie! Oh, that was that was the, that was the mister. What is all this hoopla about? It's Georgie! Monsters must have taken our little Georgie Porgy! Good heavens! Yeah, I can do something about that. Just, just hold me. Frozen statue over here. Sure, I'm glad that they're having all their life moments in their front yard. It's hard to believe a month has passed by. It's hard to believe I'm saying this out loud in the garden. I wonder where our little Georgie is now. Good day, Mr. Porgy. Ah, uh, Puddin, you're back. Puddin? Any success at all? Any news of Georgie? I'm afraid not, Mr. Porgy. Not a thing. Time for Tuppence to bring about their comeuppance. <laughs> ah, there you go. Go, Tuppence. Be the soldier you meant to be. I see. Well, thank you for your efforts, nonetheless. He's out there building some mother temple. Hey! Hey, watch the goods! I'm expensive, you know. 10,000 gold. No, no, was it 12,000, 60,000? So much for you being a good luck charm, you worthless statue! Good luck indeed, take that! And that! Ah, 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 ah! Mr. Porgy, do kind of try to calm down. Ha, ha. Ah, ha, 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 My giblets! Dear me. Look at how you've worn yourself out. 
Why don't you go inside and rest a little? Huh. <sighs> Very well. Ow. My leg. My leg. I can't feel. I can't feel my stones. Ugh. A thousand years pass. Everything turns to modern day. We're just playing Chrono Trigger. It's the future. You enter the restoration pod, but you're still hungry. Oh look, the leaves are falling. Is it New Year's yet? Amaya. They never even leave their house. They must be ordering groceries online. How long am I gonna stay like this? Put your statue back up, dude! Oh no, what if the dude died? Oh no. Help. Help! This is torture! So, the days and years passed. Ooh. Sancho! <clears throat> now, who are these? Mm hmm. I say, do you have some business here? Buenos dias, senor. We are traveling and we see a lovely mansion when we are passing. It's a beautiful stone statue you have there, no? No like it? Uh, maybe you're thinking you would like to sell it. To earn the garbanzos, eh, senor? The garbanzos? What? I'm worth more than a couple of beans, Sancho. I'll have you know. Ah, take it for free for all I care. Just get it out of my sight. Que? You are serious. Oh, ole. Muchas gracias. We take it away. Rapido. Now, Chick, it's time for you to do like I tell you before. Okay, Sancho. I just need to use the staff, right? Chick points Stolo's staff towards the heavens. A strange light engulfs the statue. It says the statue. I've been stonified so long I forgot how to be human. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, make sure my head's attached back on right. <laughs> ah! Ah! Dan, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Oh, hold on, let me just realign my neck. Ah! Ah! The statue of Menok springs back to life. Stolo's staff vanishes without a sound. Five more minutes, please. Dad, wake up! Okay, fine! Well, I never. That old statue has come to life! It's you. It's really you, friend! My majesty, King Manok! We are hunting for you everywhere! It's me, your friend, your old Uncle Sancho. You don't recognize me? Sancho, why do you look... Why do you look so old? See, si, see, si, you'll never forget me, huh? Oh, I mean, no, yes. No, yes, no. No, yes. Slime time. Look, the slime de... de it, 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 it's, it's Curtis. He revived too. Come, kids. This is your father. Wow, so you're our dad? He's been looking for you for ages and ages. So talkative. You really are Deborah's kids, huh? Nice to meet you, Dad. 
I'm Cheek. No, wait a minute. You prefer, but it's fine. You're the one who gave me my name, aren't you? Yeah, finally, somebody to blame. I'm sorry, it only made sense. Well, actually, it wasn't me per se. It was Chet. Sasha's told us all about you. And about Mum. And about what a terrible state the world's in, too. Come on, Dad. Next, we have to find Mum, and we're all going to be looking for her together. Then we'll find off all the baddies and save the world. Yay! Had a boy. Oh, and guess what? You know the Zenithian sword you left behind? I can equip myself with it. <gasps> what? You can do what? We, all this time we spent looking for the legendary hero. We couldn't find him. Because he wasn't born yet. Wow, I already knew that because of the movie, but heck. Yeah, it's like the stampede from your mouths. You don't give your father the chance to say something back to you. Not that he says much of anything at all. Good thing you inherited your speech skills from your mother. Maybe it's better we turn to Rogat to Gata, no? Then we are all talking together in the castle. We're safe. You will take us there, Cheek. Got it! She cast Zoom. Whoa! <gasps> My kids! My beautiful babies, all grown up. And it's just like me. When I was little. I I traveled with my dad to find my mom. I'm, I'm kind of still doing that. During the day, the news of King Menok's return spreads throughout Gotha. Again. Overcome with joy, the citizens don't know whether to cry or to hug their treasured monarch. And Mr. Porgy remains childless and confused. Long live King Manok! Celebrations in honor of the king's return continue long into the night. No, not again! It's okay, we're... we're the, 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 this is a dry country now. Not after the last time. No more of the Chancellor's alcohol. In the following morning... Party of children! Party of children and Sancho. Party of children. And finally, how long has it been? I finally get to use the bed. Oh, it still smells like that, bro. And also the fact that she gave birth in this bed. Did you guys watch this thing ever since she gave birth? Oh my God, it's terrible. Oh. Good morning, your Master Chief. Ma 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 Majesty. You slept like a log last night, didn't you? Your little ones, am I standing up in bed? That's already dirty, whatever. Your little ones and Mr. Sancho don't know what to do with themselves. They're so happy. Oh, yes. Yeah, speaking of Mr. Sancho, he asked me to give you this. It's a pendant made by a famous goth and jeweler for the wedding of your father, King Pancras, and your mother, Queen Mata. Your mother, Mata. King Pancras had meant to put a picture of her in the locket, you see. But she was taken before he could have an artist paint a picture of her. So it remained empty all this time. Honestly, it's so sad. It's enough to turn the taps on. I think Mr. Sancho has been terribly worried about whether he should give it to you or not. He said he thought it might make you leave to go off in search of her if he showed it to you. Well, thanks. Now I gotta go leave in search of her. The poor man doesn't want you to put you in danger. You'd think he blames himself for what happened to your father. So you be careful, your majesty. Don't do anything rash. Anyway, pet, here's the locket. Benok receives Madalena's locket. Sancho was the hero all along. Go along now. His Majesty Prince Albert is waiting for you, you know. You're trying to stop being king for one day. Gosh dang. Goddess damn it. Alright, Ken, we're going. Dad, you're going to look for mom, right? Should I be giving my kids British accents? That feels a little weird. Who taught them to speak? If anything, they should have, like, Spanish accents because Sancho probably raised them. Gonna beat up all the bad monsters that are trying to destroy the world on the way. Take us with you, Dad, please! I don't know. You two gotta prove that you can fight. Show me what you got. Sancho told me all about it. When you were our age, you went traveling with Grandpa. Grandpa. Grand Pancras. So you can't say you're not taking us with you now. Oh, it'll be just like when I was a kid. I'm gonna heal them after every battle. 
We'll be able to help you when you get in trouble. See, I knew he wouldn't say no, Ken. Come on! I mean, I didn't say anything. Okay! And you can't stop us because I know Zoom. I'll just zoom right straight to you. Oh my god! I'm the king of Gotha. Son. Daughter. Well. Oh, come on, Ken. You can equip the Zenithian sword and you're not even gonna put it on. Why do I do have to do everything around here? Alright, what's our party look like? I, I guess I don't have the Zenithian sword right now. Oh no, he has it. Put it on, kid. I wanna see you. I wanna see you wield it. Tall and proud. Ken equips the Zenithian sword. Oh my gosh, look at that attack. He's only level 5 and he's got an attack of 145. Holy bejeebs. Oh, <laughs> look at my kid, he looks like Goku. Oh, Akira Toriyama, you never change. Where's that Zenithian shield? We gotta put on the whole set. Oh, my son. My baby boy. Oh. Oh. We gotta go to Helmet Up Get you the, the helmet and everything. Oh, you're gonna look so cute. And your little outfit and everything. We've got a lot of stuff to catch up on, kids. I'm gonna be dad of the year. Come on, let's play catch or something. I don't know. What do dads do these days? Here, I'll take the iPad and just play Clash of Clans on the couch. You guys go browse the internet or something. That's what kid dads do these days. Your Majesty, King Manok, Gotha hasn't been the same without you. Wow, that's a lot to say considering that I was only king for a day. Everyone's been eagerly awaiting your return. Long live King Manok. Peace and prosperity to Gotha. Oh wait, I have party chat now. The people of Gotha treat you like some kind of idol, Dad. Isn't that amazing? People really were on tenterhooks waiting for you to come back. That's why we tried to, so hard to find you as fast as we could. <laughs> Son, you look like Goku. Wait a minute. Oh, you. Who hired you? Wait, I thought you were dead. Oh, there you are, Manok. I say you don't mean... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm glad you became the Chancellor! Why do you look exactly like Jeeves, though? No, you don't mean to say you've forgotten who I am, do you? It's me, Bertie, your old Uncle Albert. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, he's gone bald. You have spent the last eight years as a stone statue, a fossil before your time. Well, anyway, Manok, while we were looking for you, we stumbled across something rather incredible. We found your mother's birthplace! Right, because she was adopted. They found where she was really born? Pangrez wasn't very popular there, apparently, but that's all in the past now. Wait. The, the tower? I should think the people there would be only too happy to help the son of one of their own. Here, I'll show you where it is. Right there is where Queen Mata was born. Oh, hello. Scribbles, what's up? What an explosive looking stream. Hey, this isn't Chicken Bakudan. No, but I did turn into a statue for eight years. Riveting, I know. How's it going, Scribbles? Be careful, won't you, Manok? Don't land yourself in a fix. I'll be trying. Aw, oh, crap. He's gonna go through the whole thing again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, I may have spent eight long years as Dwayne Johnson. But I am quite done with that, please. I am now retired. I am no longer The Rock. We wanted to visit Lockie Peak, but we had to find you first, Dad. We know you definitely want to go with us to Grandma's birthplace. Grandma's birthplace. You've never been to Grandma's birthplace, have you, Dad? Neither have I. So I was thinking that would maybe it'd be fun if we could go together. We'll make it a family outing. Uncle Birdie's really kind. No, no, no. He is Grunkle Birdie. He always gives us secret stashes of sweets. Hey now, you rotten my kid's teeth, Bertie. Good job. To be honest, Your Majesty, everyone would rather have you stayed here. But we've been waiting eight years already. A little longer won't hurt. That's what His Majesty Prince Albert says. Do be careful, Your Majesty. Prince Sancho! I mean King Manok! Manok the Rock Adobo. That's me, that's my wrestler name. Prince Albert, he ordered the castle as soldiers to bring for you the boat you used to sail. 
Oh good, they wrestled it out of that pond in front of Coburg. And he's asking the monster monitor, Senor Monty, to come here to the castle. You find them now in the pub. Whoa. Monty is now a permanent resident. And you find Patty, the party planner, there too. She gives to you the soldiers from the castle to join your party. Soldiers? Who needs soldiers? I got Sancho and the kids. We're going to Disneyland. And I'll have you all know, just because Cinderella has a castle doesn't mean it's any bit as grand as ours. Cinderella's just a poser. You got that, kids? All right, Dad. All right. Right. Don't you ever say Cinderella has a better castle. It may be taller, but it's just movie magic. Make it look bigger. Ours is way wider. See, I am old these days, but the young ones, they don't be me. No, 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 senor. Well... What am I gonna do? Am I gonna like go out and see? I I feel like I should. I I just need to end it as soon as possible. We traveled all over with Sancho, and we he taught us all sorts of things. We were with him that time. He found stole his staff too. You must have gone on a grand adventure. Sancho's pretty strong, you know. He does get out of breath quite quickly nowadays, though. We're already in grand for adventure. But I think. We need to find a place to call it for now, before my audio interface crashes again. Nothing stronger than family. That's right, our party will consist of me, my kids, and Dom. Nothing stronger than family! Oh, there's my cousin. Father's been so busy looking for you, hasn't had any time for me, or anything else for that matter. At least it meant he wasn't nagging me at all the time, though. It's been eight years, she doesn't look a day older. Um, no, we gotta go to the church, we gotta save. We gotta go bring my kids to the casino and gamble. They're good luck, you know. Oh, how time flies. But I think we actually gotta go wrap it up. Y'all, I got a confession to make. Is it too late to confess that I got my wife pregnant? I think it's already eight years too late. Oop. Uh, I can confess. What are we doing for confession today? I confess that I cheated in the casino, but it's okay because my father-in-law owns the casino, which means that all the money stays in the family. We're fine, we're okay. Just a little, see, it's, it's that thing where we make it look like somebody wins big at the casino so that uh, all the other patrons at the casino try to replicate that success without realizing that it was all a scam. So uh, if, if, I'm if I'm confessing any sins, it's that. Got all that, Father? I, I think I got it. Okay, good. In that case... In that case... That's it for tonight. That's Dragon Quest V for tonight. Dragon Quest V for, I think, the rest of this year. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, next year, 2022, we'll be ready to find Deborah and lay revenge to that mean old Bishop Laja. Oh, he done me a heck. Done me a heck twice now. Ten years, eight years of my life wasted because of him? <sighs> Oh, he makes me so mad. So mad I could dance in this apartment. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, everybody, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out for the, the dragons and the quests. It has definitely been an eventful night. I try and I try. But how do I reach these kids? Oh wait, they found me. How do I reach my wife? Oh, oh, oh. Laja, I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. Eight years as a stone, 10 years as a slave. Menok really needs a heckin' break. He needs a break for until 2022. That's what he needs. Don't worry, Deborah. Let this picture of you not be a memorial. Let it just be our hope.
Do 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 do. All right, everybody. Let's see if there's any art for the stream tonight. If you ever have any fan art for the stream, post it to the Discord or tweet it at me. And I'll... Oh, look at this. And I'll uh, put it up. Apparently, we got a comic going on. From Lemonade Cafe. I actually love the concept. Let me make sure I'm putting this up in the right order, though. Da 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 da. We got a comic detailing the events of the wedding in full 100% accuracy. Oh, it's rotated. The wedding on the boat. The day of the big day. Manok pulls back the bridal veil to reveal the true canon wife. Nani? For press, press, for Preston. Am I pretty? Yes, Preston. Yes, Preston, you're pretty. Where's my wife? <laughs> Lemony Cafe, that is beautiful. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. It has the honor of staying in the room. So make, make, let me make sure to crop it correctly. You've done such a beautiful thing. Oh my god, it's huge. Immortalized. Huh. Thank you for this, Haru. I will treasure it always. <laughs> uh, thank you for the meme. Thank you for the dreams. And I wish all of y'all some sweet dreams. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitch, YouTube channel for past VODs, Twitter Discord for updates, and all that good stuff. But if you're going to sleep, I will let you. See you next year for more Dragon Quest, but tomorrow for some more Pokemon Shining Pearl, and Saturday for a little bit of a Christmas special. What is this, some sort of special event? Hehehe. <laughs> Stay cozy, everybody. Stay safe. But most of all, stay clucky. Farewell! Bye-bye! <laughs>